Going live, going live. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's Coffee Talk time with Team Rose. Even though Team Rose can hardly talk, I can't talk very well, my dears. I have a problem. My this black fly bite is is fucked up, man. It is swelling. It okay. So you all know I've had the swollen cheek. I thought it was a spider bite. The doctor thinks it's a black fly bite. Well. It's swelling and it's swelling down my neck and now it's the swelling is going into my chest. This is really, really weird now. It's not painful on my chest, but it's still swelling. It's like this, I'm having this bad reaction and it's just keeps swelling. Now the, it's very painful under my ear and around my jaw. Hi, two people. It's extremely painful. And um, there's probably four people. There's probably six people. Anyway, I'm freaked out by this black fly bite that continues to swell. And black flies are really very scary flies. Black flies bites are very scary. And uh, that's what I'm dealing with here. So uh, I was watching Jimmy. Hi, Anna, darling. Hi, Daisy. Hi, TL. Hi, Angie. Good to see you guys. I did go to the doctor yesterday. Hi, Dollar. Hi, sweetheart. Um, I did go to the doctor, and he said it was a black fly bite. I thought it was a spider bite. And um, hi, Lexi Texi. How you doing? Lexi Texi. Is that your real picture? Is that what you look like? That's Lexi Texi? Damn. So you're a good looking girl. Um, I always saw you in Jimmy's. I never knew what you looked like. If you were that good looking, how come you didn't put your picture up till now? <laughs> Freaking gorgeous. One sexy hot mama. So uh, yeah, the black fly, black fly bites. Okay, black fly flies are these tiny little fuckers. And they leave a vicious bite. And I don't, he doesn't think they leave poison, uh, but it feels like that. But he, my body is having a very extreme reaction to this fucking thing. It's probably a, a super bug or something. And I, um, I just got up. I was listening to a little bit of catching up on Jimmy Shut Shut his show down almost right after I got there. They'd been on for a while, I guess. And he he actually had been playing some of my video. And uh, there was this woman on there though that's like kind of I don't know bitching about it, I guess. Um, some of the turtles don't realize, or some of the new people. Hi, Melly Joe. I'm ton, not really better, but I am. I'm. I'm walking. I'm functioning. I have. I have to go to work, and I have to go to the dentist. So I'm not very happy today. I don't want to work. I want to. I want to lay in bed and sweat. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, Buckeye. Buckeye gal. How are you doing, hun? Maria G. Hello, darling. How are you, babe? So I'm going to make a little coffee. I have to, I have to go to work. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do anything because I don't feel well. And, uh, but I was listening to that. Tina looked up Max Spears last night and, um, she would like him. Oh, that was sweet that she did that. I'm glad she did that. And then Jimmy made me a soap. Now he's making soap for a whole bunch of people too. He'll probably make one for Tina. You got your cup of good. LOL, first time to make a live. I've missed you. That's sweet. Oh, good. Then I'm glad you made the live. You're so cute, man. If if, if Ernie saw you, he'd go crazy over you. <laughs> Does anyone know who Max Spears is? Asks, asks Team Rose. Your live the other day had me rolling. Oh, good. I like it when people laugh. <laughs> um, my, my body hurts. My jaw is killing me. Under my ear is extremely painful. You're doing good. You got your granddaughter today. She's two months old. Oh, how sweet. How absolutely wonderful. That's so cute. Aw. Angie says you've never heard of him. I'm not surprised. Hi, Aurora. I know the bite is the worst. You just don't even know. I mean, I can't believe how it's continuously swelling. So I look under my, my neck and my under my neck is swollen. And then I see the bottom of my neck is swollen. And now I see the swelling is going into my chest. And I am completely freaked out by this. It's like my whole body is puffing up. And it's a horrible, horrible thing. Daisy loves Maria's photos. Hi, Becky. How are you, girl? Um, I have no idea who Max Spears is, but Becky is sending us stuff on what? 
on Macs or on other things. Anyway, um, my I don't know how long I can. It's not going to be a long live. It's going to be short because I don't have a lot of energy. Um, and I just have a little bit of energy right now and only because I was listening to Dolly's live and, um, oh, this coffee smells so friggin' good. Oh my God. It smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Um, you know, I make this whole pot of coffee and I barely drink a, one cup of it. It's ridiculous. I, I waste a lot of coffee and water. Uh, I don't know why I do that. Why do I do that? Why do I do it? Yeah, so Jimmy was trying to show my video, and maybe he wanted to show some of, because um, he knows about the bashing. He wanted to talk it and talk about it. And some of these new people, as one woman was being a big, sort of a little bitchy, oh, on Max Spears to get to know who he was. You, really? You're, you, know, you know who Max is, Becky? Wow, I'm impressed. You you're sending everybody can you wow, send me stuff. Put it in the chat. Her mommy was told for the past 20 plus years she could not be get pregnant, but she got pregnant now. Beautiful baby. Oh, that's wonderful, sweetheart. Coffee cures everything. I think it might. Chocolate really cures everything, but yeah, coffee's right up there. Um, oh gosh. Well, God, Becky, you know who Max is? I'm very impressed. Tooth that can be very bad with with a bite and a tooth problem. Yeah, that's a lot of inflammation. That's right. That's why I'm on fire. Root canals can sometimes break down and leak. And also the fillings they put in. Yes, yes. That's exactly what's happened. Is your tooth sensitive? Yes. Yes, it is. It's a fucking problem. I have a fucking... I have two big, huge problems. Now, even just the root canal would have me upset. You know? Um, the spider bite alone would have me upset to have both of them at the same time is an absolute fucking night. Pepsi. Oh gosh. Is it diet Pepsi or regular Pepsi? Oh God, honey. Pet Pepsi, diet Pepsi is bad for you. So I hope you're eating. I hope you're drinking. Oh boy. Red Bull. Oh boy. You guys, you guys, you guys and your naughty drinks. <laughs> So the, the black fly bite under my ear is extremely swollen. It's very painful, it has actual pain. Um, and then the swelling went down under my neck, which is a terrible place. And then on the bottom of my neck, there's another swelling and it's just fucking scary. It's just, it's just swelling. It's, it's like something is just, my whole body is reacting. Before I know it, my whole body is going to be swollen. I hope this doesn't happen. I don't know what to do. Oh, really? Well, at least you're not drinking Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi is so bad. Root canals are not supposed to hurt since they kill the nerve in the tooth. Um, I, it could be the next tooth over. I definitely had, I needed more dental work than um, just the root canal. Um, all of my molars are fucked up, really. Um, they have old, you know, fillings that need to be taken out and... Um, We'll see how, how this, if this buffers, have you arranged to get your bite looked at Rose? It sounds like you need antibiotics. Well, I asked the doctor, do I need antibiotics? And he said, no, he goes, they won't help. And all they'll do is give you a stomach ache. That's what the doctor said. That's very different than what we used to hear from the doctor, right? Everything was antibiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics. So I thought I need to get some damn antibiotics, you know, right away. And he was like, no. This looks like a really, it looks like you're really sensitive to black fly bites and you're having an extreme reaction and everybody does with black fly bites. I mean, they, these are there. I think they're localized to Maine. I think black flies are specifically a Maine thing. My mother got bitten by a black fly right next to her eye once and her eye swelled up so bad and she just, she had to ride it out. I felt so bad for her. She was just like, she didn't even want, she didn't even want us to mention it. Poor mommy. I, I'm sad. Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi will, uh, any diet sodas will ruin um, your musculoskeletal system. And I'm a victim of that because I was too stupid to stop drinking tab, even though they told me not to. Yeah. Okay, Rose, if it's sensitive to hot, cold, the root canal has deteriorated probably in the nerve exposed. Sounds like I used to be a qualified dental nurse. Really? Nerve inflammation in that area. 
can cause pain, earache, and defer pain to other teeth. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Yeah, I should maybe take some Benadryl. I don't know. He didn't tell me to take it. I should probably take it. Uh, Mickey's girl 19. I came over from Dolly's. That's nice. Hi. I love Dolly. He's he's making a soap in my name. The Team Rose Peppermint Rose Soap, hopefully. Made with love and magic. Um, so he told me that yesterday on my live, and it was I was so touched because he's making one for other people too. I thought it was only me, but no, everybody else, but that's okay. At least I'm not left out. So, um, and Jimmy, you know. Jimmy really likes me, actually, and he, I think, believes a lot of the stuff that I'm into. Um, he gets afraid to express that sometimes because he's so worried about, um, you know, them taking down his channel and stuff like that. But people are talking about UFOs and aliens now and time travel. That stuff is commonplace now. So thank God, Jimmy, right? Um, so we can talk about that stuff, you know, but he's got a clientele that watches him that's never even heard of half this shit. So, you know, I sort of I sort of saw Jimmy as a little light in the sea of a lot of, you know, mucky muck in a way, um, because I could tell that he um, was into the mandala effect and stuff like that. And oh, sweetie pie, but not sweetie pie low, huh? I like sweetie pie low. Get a locum to come to your home and give you a script. What's a locum? What country are you from? Yeah, this is a fucking problem. Hi, Richie. It hurts. My ex-husband hit me in the jaw with a ball. Ouch. And it infected my gums, so I lost all my teeth. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm headed there with the teeth. I'm almost like, you know, I've tried so hard to keep all my teeth. What, two, one is gone. One was a baby tooth, so I never got my adult tooth. My mother had that same thing her whole life, a baby tooth her whole life, which held up very well. And mine held up very well. I had a nice big baby tooth that, you know, so that's a thing that I inherited from my mom. Antihistamine may take the inflammation down from the bite. I got bitten by an insect and it was awful. Drink lots of water. Yes, I was. I was been drinking all night. I've been taking anti-inflammation drops, pain drops. Um... I've been taking Arnica, which also helps with pain and swelling. And I should take some of that now. And I've been taking ibuprofen because the pain was just unbearable. And um, so the last one I took was at midnight. So it's five and a half hours later and it's starting, the pain's starting to come back, but it's not as bad. I think maybe, I don't know. I'm sure I'll be taking more of that. When I go to the dentist today, <clears throat> um, Oh boy. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think they'll, I think that what they'll do is inspect it. They'll take an x-ray and then probably make another appointment. Jimmy's doing a few creators, their own soap. Yeah, that's cute. I think that's cute. And, um, Cute. I wonder what he's going to give to the lab and uh, the other, some of these other people. I'm sure he'll make Tina her own soap, even though she's not a creator, but she should be a creator. So she looked up Max Spears. Now, Max Spears is very, very, very important to me. I don't know why, but every time I mention his name now, I just want to fucking cry. So that's not good. He wasn't a UFO researcher. He was a super soldier. But, I mean, it's all connected. It's all together, you know? Oh, Max. Oh, gosh. Meet the targeted individual community. Yeah. Where's Max? They call him a conspiracy theorist. God, where's the old stuff? Days before he died, he said, if anything happens to me, investigate. He said that to his mother. The day before he died, the death of Max Spears. <sighs> oh, Max. He was vomiting this black liquid. Poor Maxie. Poor Maxie. Max Spears, how do you know that you know something? What's this? 
Max Spears, Maxwell Bates. Spears. What's this? What? I subscribed. I don't know why. Top five most views you most viewed UFO conspiracies. One minute, Max Spears. Advice for Max Spears. Sign language. I bread happy. What's this? Advice for Max Spears. Hold on. Oh, Max. I can't stand that he died and I, I haven't grieved. I have not grieved till now. It's really, really weird. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm really worried about my tooth. I'm in Australia. Okay. We have a locum service, which is a doctor service that does house calls after hours. They can write you scripts and give meds. Oh, wow. No, we do not have that. We should, though. Tina was funny. She asked Mab if his wife was going. Is his wife going? You mean to, to, to the t Tennessee thing? You were in the documentary briefly. Yeah. Wow, Becky. You So how did you know about Max? Wait a minute. How long have you known about Max? Oh, 50 people in here? Wow. That's probably 150 people in here, and it only shows me 50. Thanks for being here, guys. That's really nice. Becky, tell me what you know. Did you just discover him recently, or did you know about him before? Um, I have done many videos about Max Spears, and they took them all down. They took down all that work. Oh, my God. It was so much work. It was it was years of work. It was, it was many, it was hundreds of videos, hundreds, about Max, about, about everything. The conspiracy stuff, everything. James Casbolt, everything. <laughs> I never grieved. Oh, shit. I never grieved because I didn't want to believe. I couldn't. I couldn't take it. I couldn't handle it. I, I literally couldn't. I never grieved. And I still don't want to grieve, and I don't think I, I want to grieve. Now I feel like it's pouring out of me, and I can't even help it. Oh, I have to shout out to somebody that... God, you know who was nice to me last night? You know who stuck up for me last night? I'm just learning because of you, Rose. Oh, that's great, Becky. That's great, Becky. I'm really happy. And when people learn from me, it makes me very happy. You would not believe how horrible I look right now. I mean, I look fucking horrible. I mean, horrible. Horrible. I need my daughter. I need to blow my nose. Hold on. I suspect his downfall was taken on Michael. It was, yeah, Michael Aquino. Yeah, Max was going to expose him as a Satanist in the abduction of children. Well, he was already exposed as a Satanist. Um, the thing about being at Jimmy's, I thought that woman was kind of rude to me about um, my channel and what I was talking about. She didn't know what I was talking about. And that's, I get it, but I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I was, they, people who don't know Max Spears don't know what I was talking about. People who don't know about, uh, what's her name's channel, that Queen's channel, the Beehive's channel. You will be fine, Rose. You're getting it checked out. I had my share of dentist since prayers. Thank you, hon. Um, I am very nervous. I feel like I'm going to have to get some kind of, you know, a, a fake fucking partial thing, I guess, like my mommy had. We had to take that thing out, brush it, scrub it. Oh, God. I'm finishing your magnet, so it takes a minute for me to switch over to speak to you. That's sweet, honey. Hi, Jess. What's wrong with my main Jane? <laughs> I'm a wreck. I am a fucking wreck. Thanks for subbing me up, guys. Everybody who subbed me up in the last... I got 148 new subs in the last uh, month. And that's a lot for me. So I was very, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that. I'm going to go upstairs, get back into bed with my coffee and talk to you guys until I have to force myself to go. And um, I got to go to, I got to go to work.
Oh God. Well, uh, I don't know what, I mean, Richard, I, one thing I feel bad about is if he does make it up here is I really wanted to show him my mom's house and there's somebody staying there. Unless we make friends and I ask them if I can just show Richard the house, you know. I'm actually gonna turn the heat on and try to get myself to sweat. I am freezing. Oh, I just wanna be warm. I feel like I have almost a fever because I it's hot and cold. Small town girl really sticks up for you and supports you, Rose. Aw, is she here? She is sweet, I wanna give her a wrench. Uh, was it, wow, what, over 2,000, yeah. Hi, Lionel, was that you who called Queen B? Yes, I wondered when this was coming. That's why I didn't believe you. You just brushed it off like nothing happened. What are you talking about? What the cat, with, with, with which thing? Was that you that called in Queen B and did that big act? Because about me saying that, um, I said that there's some countries in Africa where they, throw the babies to the alligators. And actually at first I thought, at first I smiled and I was laughing and then I was like, oh my God, is that Lionel? I didn't quite, and then it's like, you said South Africa. And then, um, and then I was, I laughed so hard. It, it hurt my fucking face because I can't, it hurts just now even to talk. And then you said you wanted to see me thrown into alligators. And then I didn't like you again. At first I liked you and I thought I was so grateful. I was like, I thought it was so funny. What a lovely wreck you are. <laughs> I am a wreck, that's for sure. But thank you. A lovely wreck is better than an unlovely wreck, I guess. I can understand Rose grieving, Max. Rose has and is a longstanding contributor to the truth community over a decade of work. Yes, and a lot of it's gone now, Aurora. And they just ruin everything, don't they? They took away all that work. You guys could have found everything out about Max and James Casbolt and everything. I had all of it. It's 4.38 there, yeah? It's 5.40 here. So you're an hour away. What, what state are you in? It's boiling in the UK? Oh my God. It's 10.39 AM where, where you are. Really? Where are you, Maria? You're in England, right? Um, hi, Team Rose and Chad. I'm watching on TV, so not chatting. Okay, honey, thanks for being here, babe. Fever can become a symptom of infection. Yeah, it's your... What about my channel? I never called in. You didn't? Did you go to Queen Bee's last night? That wasn't you? Oh, it sounded just like you. It sounded just like you. It had to be you. Last night, did you go on her panel? You lost 4848 and Max. Remember when you did that love scene with a crystal of salt thinking it was Max? I cannot believe I'm crying about it now. Am I grieving now, eight years later? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Seven years later. I can't bear it. I can't take it. Oh man, I never would have survived it. I have to cry this hard that, that back then. I mean, I can't, I can't, it just doesn't fucking end. And this bite is, my chest is swelling. There's something really wrong with me. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's actually true, says Rich. They tossed black babies into alligator waters. They even made toys of it, old toys. Right. I saw that. I read that. I saw. I watched it or whatever, and I mentioned it. And this woman, or I thought it was Lionel. Lionel uh, gave me shit about saying it. This woman from South Africa. This, I think, Haggis Mother Terror is part of the cabal to make people lose their channels. Mm -hmm. Probably. She. They. They killed her and cloned her. She used to be one of us. She was one of one of me. She was on my team. She was the Max Spears type, and then and then they killed her, and cloned her, and turned her into into a monster. Well, I, I will be seeing the dentist, but yeah, this is freaking me out. I wonder if I'm gonna die. 
well, it's been good nice knowing you guys. I never called in, but it does let something, something I would do to you. Actually, hippos are the biggest killers in Africa. So could you listen to this, please? Because I want you to hear this. Um, where is it? Dollar, can you put that link in, in the chat? Are you going live now? Who's this? Who's risky? Yes, I am going live. Whoever you are. Dollar, can you, I want to play it for you, Lionel. So I want you to hear it. I want you to hear, you wouldn't believe it. I think you should go back to your doctor or maybe urgent care. I'm in Iowa. Yeah, I'm worried, Rose. It's either the bite making you swell or it's infection from your tooth. It's really fucked up. I am very, I am nervous, guys. If you get a fever, go straight to the hospital. Really? Hi, Mission Possible. Both teeth on both sides. But when, when the doctor checked my teeth and, and inspected my mouth and pressed around, it, it didn't seem like it was teeth. And he thought he could see the bite mark on, right in front of my ear. He said that black fly bites don't really show marks. Lionel, I cannot believe that wasn't you. It had to be you. Now come clean. Dollar, did you watch that whole thing? My throat hurts, guys. I'm in. I'm in. A, I am in trouble. <laughs> Delta's girl. I'm sad. Oh fuck! I can't. Shit. Damn it. Uh. Uh, caught up in the court of public opinion. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, this isn't it. Wait, is this it? No. Um, I don't know how. I want you to see it, Lionel. Uh, it does, it is something you would do. I was actually shocked. If it isn't you, who the fuck is it? It has to be you. Just come clean. How do I know it was a fly, not a spider? I, I, the doctor thought it was a, a black fly. Yeah, Rose, do not mess around. Oh, God. I have to have them taken out. I know. Jaw infection serious. It's so close to the heart. Yeah, wow. What do you want? Yeah, that live that I had you send me, because I can't find it. I think it, I think, could you send me that again? Could you put that in a link? Um, but you see, Lionel, you can be on my side and then you turn on me. And I don't like that. I got 480 subscribed now. Wow. I need another million <laughs> behind that to make 48 million. Okay. You need another six zeros. God, congratulations. That's a lot. That's a lot, Lionel. 480, 48. Rose, you're going to be well. Go to the dentist. I suspect he will give you antibiotics, maybe. Then go to the doctors to review your chest. You're going to be all right. You grow old and gray. You will grow old and gray. Is that a good thing? I don't know, Queen B. You don't? So you didn't... That wasn't you, Lionel? Lionel, it, it sounded exactly fucking like you. Pretending to be a woman. It sounded exactly like you and pretending to be a woman and didn't you get mad at me about didn't you get mad at me about the alligator thing you'll probably get antibiotics i'm no med expert but it seems it will give you that just relax rosie we are here for you thanks honey the south african that called in was a lady named sally oh my god are you serious are you serious anna a lady that but it was lionel pretending to be a lady named sally that's right. Rose has dentists. They should give antibiotics. Yeah, I, I, I was shocked he didn't want to give them to me. I think he's this guy's not is one of these people that doesn't push antibiotics every second. Your minge will too. <laughs> what minge? <laughs> the minge club. Do I have a minge? <laughs> okay, let's let's do let's be part of the fuck off minge club. Minge messes. 
Good morning, Rose, and everyone listening at work. Good morning, Brian. Good to see you, hon. Angie says doctors can be wrong sometimes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, I guess. Okay, there it is. All right. All right. Um, let me grab that. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can play it for you, Lionel. Jimmy Jams added a new video. What is up? Dolly Vision says, okay, guys, I've been working on a ton of new cold press soaps. Kind of just coming up with silly names for my soaps. I named a few of them after YouTubers. I have put them on the site already for sale. You have? Wow. They will not be ready for like a week, but you can get your pre-orders now. Wow. Look at Jimmy with the belts. He's a wild man in bed. That's what they say. I'll tell you, girls can't get over this guy. I don't know what he got. But he got something. There's PJ. And then by Ivy J and Dolly Vision. So Ivy, her name is Ivy. Poor little summer. Poor little summer. So yeah, my channel is um, about a lot of things. I'm just I'm just beach and a little objectionable and a bit disrespectful. I always love you. You know that. She sounded just like you, Lionel. That woman, Sally. You got to listen to it. I don't like the QB, just saying. She's pretty tough bitch. Well, shit, my lady name is Sally Bowles. Oh, God, you're caught. You're caught. The South African lady has a deep voice. Almost sounds like a man. Totally. It had to be you, Lionel. Maybe that was AI. Let's ask Nicolina. <laughs> she doesn't come by anymore. Yes, yeah, the fuck off Minge Club, and we can object to bullshit. De definitely. <laughs> Good to see you, Aurora. You missed my uh, crazy rant, but I mean, that's probably a good thing. Every time I lay back on that dentist chair they use me for, it's like getting a tattoo, but I'd rather get a tattoo. Oh, God, I know. You don't watch her. She's pretty, she's pretty tough. And she, um, she's, she, she, she's pretty mean. She thinks I'm this horrible person, but all they do is shit on people. You know those people that shit on people all day fucking long? But then act like if you say one fucking word to retaliate, that you're so horrible. You know they they couldn't even keep going with me. It's uh, actually they were all they were all they were stunned into silence. I just subbed to Queen B. Oh God, why did you sub to her? She ripped me to shreds, fucker. All right, I'm gonna play this for you. Dollar, did you put? Can you put it in again if I can't find it? If I don't go if I don't go to it right away. I don't end up getting it. You're so fucking full of it, Lionel. It was totally you. Oh my god. What is this? Let's hold on. Uh, let me get my live. Oh my god. What is this? Let's hold on. Hi, Chili Chick, darling. Uh, let me get my live. I studied the Franklin scandal and Johnny Gosh. Were you oh studying god. that too? You mean the Franklin? Um, uh, I studied the Franklin scandal. Why do you betray me? Gosh. Because it just sounds like there's a, some uh, mental health awareness, I think. That oh, we, uh, shut it with your mental. You know. Thank you, Queen. No problem. Uh, okay. Queen. Matt, was that what you were all about? Was your yeah, because we're right up with her. Like, Matt kick, and she was like, mm hmm. How hardcore I'm going, Avery. I mean, them like, them like. She was on the run. She was literally hiding out. She was like traveling nonstop, going to different Airbnbs and staying in random places. We do these weird little live remotes and shit. If you start shit talking to me like in Queen Bee's Lionel, like you will not be trailers. welcome here. I will. I, I'm drawing the line. I'm drawing the line. If you shit talk me now, Dave went over there, and I thought he shit talked me, but he didn't shit talk me really. So I kind of owe him an apology, maybe. 
Um, you study the Franklin scandal and Johnny Ghosh. That that scandal, I, I'd like to talk to you about that. Tell me what you know about it. I'm glad you studied that. It's very important. Nicolina is a hardcore lesbian, says Morning Glory, very dominating. But if she likes a girl, she will tell you how she wants to scissor freak the chick. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she likes magical boobs. She's bisexual, like most people. I believe with QB, you shouldn't throw stones while living in a glass house full of crack pipes. Supposedly, she's a big meth, meth producer. Hi, Louise. Thanks. Good to see you, babe. I know what I miss about Max. Well, he's coming back into the conversation. I subbed you remember to go back and listen, but now we'll go on sub. Thank you. Yeah, I want you to hear Sally. You know, you got to listen to that, what Dollar sent, because you can't find that video. You just can't find it. Should have seen the live I was on last night, says Rich. The most heated topic of all time, religion. Once it ended, we were all backstage. It was so insane, the arguing. Wow. Who? What channel was that? He didn't say anything bad about me. I, I thought he might, but he didn't. In fact, he started to say something good. He he introduced them to Aaron and Get to Know's channel. And then he mentioned something important about these 220 kids or something that were found missing or whatever. And, and instantly, Queen B says, oh, we don't talk about that here. And, and he was like, oh, okay. So I think she's part of it. Yeah, she's part of it. But here's what was really cool is that, um, okay, good. I don't want you bad mouthing me over there. I will break my heart. I will cry like a baby and I will never speak to you again if you do that. So you should be nice to me. Um, Bye Dolly Soap. She's so funny. Bye Dolly's been playing some of your life from today. And now Tia, Tia, what? Oh, where'd it go? And now Tina's showing, oh, fuck, a video on Max Spears. Lots of love. I thought that was great that she looked up Max Spears. Just, Tina's a researcher. She's a real researcher. I was very happy she did that. Um, oh, wow. I've got team. Wow. Oh, thank you. Look. Oh, look, guys. Watch. Look, guys, PJ sent me this. Pre-order Dolly Soap Team Rose Cold Pressed Bar, $12. Wow, that's a lot. But I guess soap's expensive. It takes a lot of work, so you got to pay. You got to pay for all that work. Put the love in Dolly. Dolly Vision. That's cute. Dolly Vision. Oh, awesome. Add to cart. I add to cart. View my cart. Dolly Soap brings you a luxurious cold press bar fe featuring natural rose petals to give it a distinctive perfume scent. <laughs> Show your support for Tea Rose and pre-order this bar, which is named after one of our favorite YouTube creators. Oh, too bad Candace is on there. You should have me and Tina and a bunch of uh, other people on there. Aw, that's really cute. Wow, thanks, Jimmy. Aw, that is really, that's really cute. Dolly Soap brings you a luxurious cold press bar featuring natural rose petals to give it a distinctive perfume scent. Show your support for Team Rose and pre-order this bar, which is named after one of our favorite YouTube creators. Aw, thank you, Jimmy. I will buy one. So cute. Although he already owes me a bar, but whatever. I don't care. Um, shipping address. Team Rose. <laughs> Team Rose director. I'm putting in my answer. <laughs> Info, gosh, director. Um, Jimmy's so cute. I thought that was so cute to do that. Um, it's 
really sweet. Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, Jimmy sent me stuff before. I'll play with PayPal. I'm ordering my soap. Um, oh God, they might be do your password. Did it work? Oh, shit. Oh. Let's see here. I'm behind in the chat now. I did it. I pay. I bought it. I bought a Team Rose soap, guys. I bought. I bought the first bar. I bet. I know, right? I'm excited. That was nice of Dolly and PJ. Totally, really sweet. I know. I love that he did that too. It was really sweet. I just bought a new tablet for Memorial Day, so I do not like the emoji. What do you mean? Um, wait a second, Denmark. Okay. Let's see, first bar. Jimmy's so sweet. I love Jimmy, actually. And PJ's really sweet. She's obviously good for him. He's happy. You know, he seems very happy. It's really sweet. Um... I'm trying to write to her. I don't normally do anything on here, but I gotta I gotta buy the first bar. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> Did you hear Sierra offer a threesome with Jimmy and PJ? <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? Dolly has a 50% off code. Oh, I should have done it, but whatever. I don't mind giving him the money, whatever. Lisa Shankel. Thank you. Get what Rose get well. Thank you. Wow, what pretty eyes you have. My God. So beautiful. I wish I looked good. I look like shit, guys. If you saw me, you'd be very upset. Thank you, hon. I know. PJ is really cool. She's really sweet. She sure loves Jimmy. I'm very happy about it too. Dollar StreamYard doesn't understand them. Okay, so I want, I, I, okay, we got, okay. So I just want to say something. You know how Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't like Constance Sue because she's been pretty mean to him. Um, That's so sweet. But, um, but you know who stuck up for me in here? And you know, who, you know, here, I want to play something for you. Listen to this, okay? Constance Sue comes up there. Human trafficking with Benny too. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. You know, I thought I was hard headed. Oh, that's I do listen. All you can do is ask. She doesn't have to oblige, but they're they're, they're trying to story. convince Ann Horn and to not to not engage with me, which is smart. Listen. 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 Oh, listen. 
Listen, this is interesting. It's conscious in the fire. Yeah, Listen to this. I don't this know is what she's up here, but I'm here. Oh, okay. Listen I'm to Constance. Constance. Hi. She thinks that Benny took Summer Wells because Ernie has Listen. convinced her of that. Then Dolly begins. Yeah. To <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> okay, hold on, Constance. You bring in bombs up here. So you're telling me that Ernie convinced Ernie Shell convinced Team Rose that Benny Keys took Summer Wells. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she <laughs> believes that. Dolly, be in the Queen, can you pass me that bowl, please? Can you please pass it over here? I'm going to need it today. Dolly, be in the church that he is, convinced Rose because Biddy used to have the hitman in his name. Dolly convinced Rose, and uh, now I'm, I'm sketchy on that because I don't remember, but something like that, that Biddy was a hitman. So Rose has thought Biddy has a hit out on her for all these years. Rose offered Biddy $10,000 to cancel the hit on her. 11000 Eleven thousand. What yes. the fuck? <laughs> so her idea was to okay. Hold on, this is a woman that got three thousand dollars for Ernie's sweaty ball, sweaty fucking hat, too, right? I think it was only six hundred. Yeah. Right. Oh, six hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so she never got it. Well, just like the soap, she never got that yeah. either, huh? It was soap and it was soap and t-shirts, a whole bunch of merch, and it was like months and months and months ago, and he just keeps pushing her off because he knows she'll wait. I'm fine with it. Stop it, dog. Warrior nun. But that's why, that's why they, she hates him. She thinks I'm in, in human trafficking with Benny, too. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. I can't with this woman. I cannot. Hi, Joda. Fuck. <laughs> like, I, you know, you guys. How you, you can't even make this shit up in Hollywood. I think she's very sketch. She thinks Don Wells is part of the Mormon church and Listen. somehow they they came and got Summer and put her in a tabernacle or something, I don't know, for sex trafficking. <laughs> and Benny had just happened to show The tabernacle us. is a choir. Oh, well, I don't know what it is. But Benny had just happened to show I think he was in Tennessee right before Summer came up missing. So he said, look, Benny Keys was right there before so we're witnessing. It's just a nut. It's a whole bunch of mess. <laughs> what so why is it that all of this? Though. Okay, so I listen. You know, to be honest with you, um, she stuck up for me. Constance Sue actually stuck up for me. Now, she could have stuck up for me, which I really actually appreciated. It. I was touched. I was touched the way she came in there and redirected what was going on. They were there to shit on me and, and badmouth me. And, and then Constance comes in there and actually explains to them. Listen to what she says. Oh, my God. I got to get oh my, my coffee. I, I guess I'm too logical of a person. Oh, this logical. Is, this doesn't even make sense. She'll go like, she calm down. She'll go like this and calm down and go like this and calm down. That's just Rose. I mean, that's how she is. Right. He was saying that's just, was like, that's just, that's just, that's just her. I, I we just yeah. accept her for who she is. Well, I mean, um, her family has been contacted. I mean, but there's really, I mean. What does that mean? What, what, what can you do about it? I mean, I don't know. She, she, she should have her challenge to be Rose Rance, because that's what. Rose Rance and Rambles. I had a channel is. like that, Constance, but they took it down. Yeah, but talking about, like. People being gay and transsexuals and transvestites. And I don't give a fuck that, if you know, you're the, gay. I'm the, fucking the, gay. Shut up, Queen B. I am fucking bisexual. Yeah, I have a real problem with it. Sleuth Fairy, just quickly. Um, Max was born into the Illuminati MK Ultra Super Soldier programs. It's very intense and deep what his life is about. It's not. He wasn't a UFO researcher like they try to make him out to be or a conspiracy theorist. He was born into these MK Ultra programs and it's a big long story and I will be making a video about it. Um, obviously it needs to be made. So listen, let's listen so to more. being nasty and hateful and saying the stuff she's saying, talking about hand, hand, that kind of stuff is not good. Like that's not cool at all. Oh, shut she up. She did this one channel already because of her, I don't want to say the word because I don't know if you two, you know, tracks it but right right you know, I got that this conspiracy theory thing you know I think they just popped her channel and that had all her personal 
think she was on it for a long time, but. Lisa. Nice okay, well, I'll just, yeah, that's all I want to tell you. Jeez. All right, baby. She gets back up, though. Holy shit. This is this fucking. You guys are saying it was fucking, back fucking. here way worse, though, back here where she was at cussing you know what i'm saying oh oh you you're you're, you're talking about cussing are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me the biggest you got the worst mouth i've ever heard because i know how much all you people care about me oh yeah we all care about you Ann. it is yeah i've been talking about like people being gay and trans no look look trans. look look I was raised by gay people. Shut the fuck up about me bashing trans people. I'm not bashing trans people. I know it's shocking for you to believe because you want to find a reason to shit on me, but I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. You're wrong. Get a life. Get a clue. Fuck off. The sleuth fairy says, Rose, I understand they spun Paul Bonacci and others' real-life stories of government abuse. Hmm. It's hard to find shit on Max now without my channel. Because they, 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 they took everything and bastardized it. People being gay and transsexuals and transvestites and saying that they're, you know, yeah. like, so being nasty and hateful and saying the stuff she's saying, yeah. talking about hand, 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 too. that kind of stuff is not good. Like, that's not cool at all. Oh. She did this one challenge. Oh, oh but it's okay for you to shit talk uh, Dolly every five fucking seconds. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay for you to do it, right, Queen B? Because you make meth, apparently. I wasn't there. I don't know about meth, but that's what I heard. It's okay for you to make meth and, and shit talk everyone, including Dolly nonstop. But I can't say what I think. Okay. Hypocrite city. Goody, goody, goody. I goody, goody, goody. I don't know if YouTube, you know, tracks it, but... Right, right. I got that this conspiracy theory thing, you know, I think they just popped her channel. And that had all her personal pictures on it for a long time. But. That's right. Jeez. Okay, well, I'll just, yeah, that's all I want to tell you. Jeez. All right, baby. It runs so deep. Oh, shit. Being exposed. This, that's this right. fucking, you guys are saying, it was back here way worse, though, back here where she was at. Cause you, know, you know what I'm saying? Months? She's clear. Look at everybody in her. Oh, oh my fuck. God. Here's up there. They're He's obsessed well with other people. Uh, Kimberly is over there. Unsupervised maniac, maniacs or whatever. Yeah, that. she was giving me a hard time. Kimberly's over here. <laughs> Give me one second. They're over there. I'm fucking with her. I'm getting that. I wish I don't condone that. Yeah. I think that's funny. You know what I mean? I, I do think it's kind of funny. I guess I do. You laughed your ass <laughs> off. I mean, and she's fucking being nasty, though. Yawn. Ashley, yawn. Ashley. Get going. Yeah, I was. Mm. Ashley comes in there giving me shit, so I ripped her face off. God. For Team Rose. Take your own risk, guys. Take your own email, risk. Guys. Ashley, why? I'm She's still going. Ashley. Like three hours later, yeah. no fucking. Yeah. yeah, Ashley, do you think? Is there any grains in there, or you just you just spew what your dumb fucking friends spew? There's my email, guys. Way to call it, Dollar. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Kathy. Why is it always blamed on mental health? Exactly. Oh, you're bipolar. Take your meds. Yawn. Ashley, yawn. Ashley, why are you such a yawn? Oh, God. I'm so mean to Ashley. But she passed me. Ashley, she, yawn. She came bitch me out. She asked for it. If you're going to bitch me out, I will. No, I will. stop in sight. Fuck, I know, like, right? Fuck, 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 fuck. This was like watching a runaway truck. That's up to you. That's good. Oh, and what about these people that bash Jimmy all day? This is a fucking train wreck. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. A fucking train wreck. Sending me, okay? Everybody's got mental fucking problems. Jesus. Get Ashley's ass. Yeah, Ashley, fuck off. Good God. Rose Darling. Anne has said she's Oh, it's not, okay to so tell Jimmy he's fucked up, but I can't tell Ashley I to fuck she, off. She's dying. She can't help it. Oh, Anne. Yes. Oh, Anne, I thought you were this big dick that it was afraid of. Huh? And your cancer. Right? You need love and support and money. Oh, really? But you're not willing to give love and support and money, are you, Anne? Did you ever give a dime to anyone else who has cancer? God. How would you know? How would you know? She will be fucked up. She never gave a dime to anyone. How do I know? Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. So something you prove. <laughs> Rose keeps everyone on their toes. Give them hell. 
Thank you, hon. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Um, and then I wanted to I wanted to share this part about Constance because she tries to calm them down. She tries to tell them that I'm not something to worry about, that I just go on rants, I get it out of my system, and then it's over. She actually said that. God. How the fuck would you know? How would you know? It will be fucked off. So pathetic. Ashley, you really are pathetic. You're pathetic. Doesn't really make sense. She even thinks, I think she legitimately thinks that, Jimmy, I... You kind of... Uh, Hold on. Jay, but uh, you're talking about the, the whole... Here. I'll give you $200 of my hard-earned fucking Airbnb money, and If you can get sexy, beautiful, in and out, no. Actually, I want to see that bitch take off her wig, take off her fucking fake eyelashes, and put that bikini on. Otherwise, she needs to shut it. What do you think about my... Uh... My trans bashing, um, Morning Glory. Yeah, Maria is perfectly nice, perfectly good, perfectly fair. She has boundaries. I love oh, you, I'm Maria. sure she's back. Oh, yeah, she's back. Ah, she's got to fight back with her cancer. Ah. I officially don't like you, Anne. You're a shit-stirring bitch. And I fucking had it. Ashley, why do you talk the at all? of objection appreciated. The only one who life. likes Ashley is Mel, and she's the fakest bitch on, on, the, on, the, on the streets here. So morning, Glory. I told Mel, who's tranny, they all they don't think I should say tranny. Well, why can't I say tranny? You're tranny, you're goddamn tranny. Good morning, undercover mermaid. How are you, darling? What's trans bashing? See, they make up this new term. You don't even know it. I wasn't trans bashing, but they're accusing me of trans bashing, and she's gonna get her channel taken down for trans bashing because I suggested to lovely, beautiful Mel, the one who tricked Jimmy. The one who came on to Dolly Vision with her big hair and her big eyelashes. Mel, do you want to see a picture? Let me, okay. Oh, my God. i got to show you something else now. Oh, Becky. I'm so excited that you guys are into Max. You have no idea how much that means to me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited you guys are into Max. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to be alone. Max, please. Please don't die. Please don't die. I can't stand it. Please don't die. Please don't die, Maxie. Please don't die. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I want to show you this picture of Mel. And I want you to see it, Lionel. And I want you to tell me what you think. So Mel, in my opinion, is a little boy. Um, I gotta find her. I don't know if I can find her. Ah, uh, where the fuck is this bitch? Let's see. Pandora and Mel. She's got this very made up face. Um, mm, uh, trying to show you, but it's it's not easy to. My, anyway, let's finish this. All you do is say that you slept and you keep coming in here, we're talking, okay? What's your point? I, I'm in bitch mode in this oh, video. Dolly's the fake person here. You, 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 so look up, you've used my channel for your entertainment many, many times. You can't max out like the highest hijack. Those people are crazy. What do you think? What do you think? Is it a mental illness to be a tranny? I don't know. It's a good question. I think we should think about oh. that. Anne is live again. Oh God, Anne is live. Everybody race over to Anne. And that is Anne trans bashing. Why don't you stream me? Because you got nothing else to talk about. Cancer gets so boring after a while. That's not sense. trans bashing, you fucking idiot. Okay, you don't know what trans bashing is. You don't know your ass from your elbow. I told Mel to wear a sparkly string bikini and six to eight inch platform high heel sat plat um is it satin leather uh, patent leather shoes. Yeah, Jimmy made me soap. He brings it up in my live yesterday. He came in with PJ. And told me, he told me that he made me a soap. It was so sweet. 
It was so sweet. I, Jimmy can be so fucking adorable. Can't you, Jimmy? Every now and then, we reach down into Jimmy's heart and we stir it up and we go, Jimmy, you'll have a heart bigger than anyone sometimes. I thought Molly Golightly seemed trans. Totally. Then she lost her channel because of saying something on anti-LGBT. Oh, well, I didn't say anything anti-LGBT. Q, S, T, V, one, two thousand, billion, whatever. Um, I honestly think Molly is um, born a man. Um, Mel is, I believe, born a man, born a boy. I think that Mel was a little boy, very pretty, tiny. He's only five feet tall, very petite. He just made a better girl. He loved to play with wigs and eyelashes and makeup and just loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, right? Only five feet tall. How can he really be a man, right? So he went to be a girl. Well, what that makes sense, doesn't it? So I said, darling, this is what she considers trans bashing. I said, darling, please do go get that string bikini and wear a big fur coat over it and your high heel satin leather shoes. Red, blood red. And, you know, I was horsing around. Yes, Dolly made Rose a wonderful sounding soap. There's rose petals in it. I know, I just bought one. Hey, Jackie, darling. This tooth is terrible. Uh, the snake bite, which is actually a black fly bite, and black flies are worse than fucking spiders. Worse than spiders. And this thing is swelling down my neck and into my chest. It's starting to swell into my chest. I'm, I, I'm actually freaked out about that, but it seems like it's in the, within the skin. So my body is having this extreme reaction, but it's like in the, under the skin and the sub, subcutaneous levels. You know, it's not, it's not under the muscle. The new lettering, thanks to Canadian PM, is 2SLGBTQ+. Yeah, I mean, who can keep up? Who can keep up? Hey, Pixie. How are you, darling? <laughs> Good to see you, babe. We're talking about Max, Maggie. Um, Max is Max is Max. Shit, I can't even talk about it. I'm a wreck, Max. God damn it, damn it. I don't want him to have died. I can't take it. I literally cannot fucking take it. Twos is for two sexed people. Oh, wow. Oh, black fly. Yeah, do you know what those are, Jackie? It's it's Jackie. It's swelling into my neck and into my chest. My chest is swelling right below my neck. <sighs> I'm so emotional. It is painful. The pain under my ear. You would not believe how swollen this is, guys. It's just, oh, my God. My daughter looked at me. She's like, what the fuck? She goes, your eyes look puffy. I said, yeah, I've been crying all fucking day. What's the difference between a Q from an F? The Q is round and has a little line in it and the F is tall and has two lines perpendicular to it. Just say the alphabet people, Rose. Yeah. Okay. I've got tooth issues on both sides. I feel like I'm going to lose all my teeth on the bottom. Not all of them. The front teeth are fine, but the back teeth. My daughter spied a brown raccoon, but it killed it just in time. Oh, wow. Those guys are awful. Thank you, Jackie. I'm just definitely a wreck. You know about Max Spears, Jackie, right? Max Spears? Um, No, definitely not a horsefly. I would have seen a horsefly, and those are usually by the water. Rose, did you make the baking soda and water paste to pull out the poison? No, I didn't do that, but... Well, I said there's no... you can't see the bite mark. How do you pull out the poison if you don't have the bite mark? Just putting it on your skin? I also said, he also said there was no poison. He goes, I said, I feel like there's all this poison in my jaw and my body made an encasement around it and it's protecting that poison from going into my body. And he said, hi, Kathy514. And he said um, that... It wasn't necessarily poison. It was just my body having a big reaction to it. Everyone, Dollar says, everyone knows Rose Rand. So, so why now all of a sudden it's a problem? Because they are miserable since Dolly washed his hands clean of those women. They're bouncing off to different pails. Yeah, and then Tina apparently got another message from Wild Angel, who can't ever let it fucking go, and said, 
oh, I was so nice to you, but you and Team Rose can't get over it. I was so nice to you. You know what, Wild Angel? Being a friend that's fake is not nice. Being fake nice is not nice. OK, you were really close to her, to Tina. You talk to her every fucking day and then you turn on and you drop her like a hot fucking potato because you're suddenly sick of it. Well, fuck off. OK, on behalf of Tina, fuck off. That is not what a friend does. You don't just decide you're sick of it and can't take it anymore and then run off with your little bitchy, bashy little girlfriends. OK, no wild angel. No. And wild angel, to be honest with you. Now that they're gone and bitchy, we're the worst at interrupting. You could not stop either fucking one of them from talking. It was impossible. Please, Team Rose, if that doesn't go down today, call the doctor. I know. I am nervous. I could go back to the doctor. My aunt got a, a yellow fly bite. Oh, I haven't heard of that. We have yellow flies in Florida. Oh, she got sepsis? Oh, shit. Well, he said that this was going to be better by today, and it's not. It's gotten worse. It, it, the swelling down my neck is and under is really fucked up, and it's, I am scared about it. And I, the doctor, the, I mean, what the fuck? You need more likes, Rose. Demand the demand those thumbs up, thumbs up, darling. Please do. Thank you all. Love you. She was on antibiotics for fourteen days. Wow. Well, I wanted to go on antibiotics. But he didn't think I needed them. Yes, I know about Max a wee bit. Well, we're going to have to talk about him. And I'm going to be crying the whole time. I don't know. Now now maybe I'm admitting he, he died. But I don't want to admit that he died. I don't want to admit that he died. I always thought that he still was alive. Max, please be alive. Please. Please. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I just want you to be alive. Why can't you just be alive? Is it that hard? Peppermint oil is very good. In fact, I want my dolly, I want my rose soap to have a splash of peppermint in it. Yes, put it on the area where you were bit. It works for bee stings. My grandmother taught me. All right, I'm going to do that now. I took trace minerals. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I'm so sorry that you're suffering with this, sweetie. Thank you. I want to work on getting on my pulse just to say hell with them. I know. I went to age 40 with no cavity ever. Now all kinds of crap. Really? That's really unusual. Is it? The, are you taking medication? Because sometimes medication can ruin your teeth. I'm so sorry, babe. You took the iodine orally? I do need to do something. Dolly's people and sent to detail our mission. Misery is a symptom of narcissistic behavior. Old misery that people are bottom feeders. Yeah. Oh God, the bottom feeders. Holy shit. Holy shit. What hypocrites for Queen B to say fuck, fuck, fuck every five fucking seconds? Every, every second. Fuck, fuck. Oh, but I'm so trashy. Excuse me, bitch. Hello? Hello? You know? What the hell? Now, I was raised by an educated family, but they swore like sailors because my father was a sailor. He was a high-end fucking sailor. Uh, yeah, it's probably the meds. Now 47, so all within seven years. Oh, gosh, baby, I'm so sorry. The meds will ruin you as well. I mean, a bug bite will ruin you. Meds will ruin you. What's the good news? Dolly made me a soap. Isn't that sweet? I thought it was just me, but then everyone's getting one. <laughs> but at least I'm, I too am getting one. And then he mentioned all the people he made the soap for. And I was like, what? You didn't mention me? I, I didn't realize he was making it for all of them. So he's like, oh, I made one for, um, you know, he said the lab. And he made one for um, just dumplings, got a soap. And all these people got a soap. And then I also get a soap. I'm very excited. I have RA, me too, and peripheral neuropathy at its worst until point. Then I had to take meds. Did you um did you have a root canal by any chance? Because that fucked me up. Let me see if there's any music. Hi Rebecca, sweetheart. How you doing, babe? Are you going are you going to see your son? Are you going to your son's funeral today, hon? That's so hard. Her her son died yesterday. It's so sad. 
I know you're so excited about the soap and talking about about your live yesterday. Yeah, that was really he 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 made my day because I was you know talking about the whole Queen Bee thing. Um, I thought I was mad at Dave, but I'm not mad at Dave. They drag his family when we can't help who our family is, and they have no clue about anything. Yeah, it's just awful. You went to buy the Team Rose soap? Thank you. Yay. Now, he's not going to have it ready for a week, so you have to wait. But thank you. I mean, it's for him, but hey, buy my soap. <laughs> um, You want me to play some Fleetwood Mac? Hi, Marie. Good to see you, babe. I'm not doing good. Um, I'm in, I'm in actual incredible pain and, uh, I have to see the dentist and the, the swelling is going down my chest. I feel like my whole body is going to be swollen. I don't know why my body is reacting like this. This has got to stop. What's going on? I'd show you, but I just don't want you to see me looking like this. But I, but it, you know, the swelling, it didn't go into my throat, which it could have closed up my throat. He said, if it closes up your throat, obviously you have to go to the hospital. Um, but, um, let me finish this. I want to finish this ADHD bit much. Yeah. Thank you. We object to bullshit. Yes, we object. I know. I just, I just timed out Jay, the fake little bitch, fake little bitch. My name is Jay. I don't have a real name. I'm not a real person. I'm, I, I just like to bitch with my friends. <laughs> Look, if you care about something and you have any integrity at all, please stick around. If you're just a, a scammy little Aww. loser, then go over to somebody else's channel. It's fine. In the end, I will keep the elite, high-end, intelligent, worthy people. In the end, I will have those people on my channel. That's you around. guys. Brainwashed. Matrix. I like that. Brainwashed? Oh, you think I'm brainwashed because I don't hate Dolly and because I have intelligent people on my channel? Those people are sick. And I won't be talking about them forever. But I, I wanted to show what Constance Sue did because... I found what she did very interesting and I could see it in a couple different ways. Now she stuck up for me, I felt, and I really was touched by it. But then I thought, did she do this for another reason? Like, why did she do this, what she did? And I thought it was so interesting. Now I liked it a lot because she explained a lot of what I went through. She didn't have every fact right, but she basically got the gist. Undercover Mermaid says, no, they refuse you can I'm just going to ask for them to pull. Yeah. As I can afford with my insurance, I'm sure it's a fortune. No, it's a couple hundred bucks to pull. Um, but teeth affect your heart. Oh, shit. I got to get these teeth out of my fucking mouth. Damn it. What? Wait a minute. You can't lose your daughter yesterday. You can't lose two kids in two days. You lost your daughter today? You said you lost your son yesterday, honey. You have two kids and you lost them both? What? Sweetheart, this isn't possible. I thought you were going to your son's funeral today. What do you mean you lost your daughter today, babe? What the hell? Go to the dentist now. My, my appointments this is, you know, this morning. Years ago, I had a similar issue. And jaw got infected. I lost my voice. Ah, shit. I, I am going today. Oh, God. I know. Rebecca lost her son yesterday. Oh, the, the funeral. How could you lose two kids so quick, honey? This is, I can't, I'm in shock. She just lost a son yesterday. 97 watching, but 33 likes. Hit the likes, guys. That was nice of Constance. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, I, I was very touched, actually. I was like, oh, wow, I like Constance. <laughs> Let's play it. I agree. Bullies of the Matrix. Matrix bullies. Matrix bullies. Um... Follow Latoya on YouTube. <laughs> oh, does it, Peggy? Peggy, you know, I've been checking your panties lately. Oh, God. There's me. There's me giving Peggy oh, shit. Peggy. Peggy, are you gay or straight? Peggy, are you a man or a woman? <laughs> are you tranny? Really? You know, Peggy. Other channel. You got one on the other channel? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I do. With a big mouth. He's right up on the street. Oh, God, here it is. Here it is. Hey, voices. Hey, Tim. Here it is, Lionel. Are you here? Hello, everybody. Listen. Hey, gonna be, you guys, he gotta let you be over here right now? Listen or, to this. Or did he kick you out? Oh, that's Dave. Listen. It's all, uh, you know, we're that's all one Dave. big community. 
it's all about you uh, got your ass ripped. I watched it. It was really bad, and I felt really bad for you. That was fucked up. Well, one more viewer, and I got a hundred views. Yeah, I'm taking it. my thoughts. Oh my god. By the way, were you the one on the lab? Yeah, I, I don't. Well, I was. You know, they just said, this is interesting. Yeah, about I, was I was just listen to this, guys. I was just trying to, you know. Because, uh, you know, Manimal was on there, and I was like, oh, hey, man, you know, because he was kind of, you know, just kind of in that, uh, you know, in the corner, you know, not really talking. I was trying to help him, weird, you know, talk about maybe how he got into true crime, you know. Worse. Just wanted to try to help him out, and it didn't seem to, he didn't notice it or whatever, you know. Trying wow. to help him. But, uh, yeah, that was that was interesting, that uh, little uh, lab uh, snippet there. Yeah, he definitely milked uh, Chris Hansen jumping up. I see. <laughs> yeah, I, I I didn't really know who he was. I mean, I when I heard Chris Hansen, I was thinking like the Muppets. That's three dots. But I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hans, not Hansen. That's Jim Hansen. There you go. It's Jim Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard about how have a scene with Chris Hansen? You never heard. Oh, yeah, I would have liked to have uh, Hi, him talk a little bit more on the Summer Wells Thanks, honey. case. Oh. You know, it seemed like so he was pretty. dodging a really bit. You know, these beautiful people. Um, uh, from I don't know. I mean, oh, the guy had, he kind of he kind of he drips from these drips from this community. Like originally he came from the commentary community. Like he came here and he kind of fucked over Tim that talking. community and a lot of other things there. And now he's I think he's drifting over other communities. Trying yeah, to, he's like kind of a cloud chaser, so. Yeah, I think that's what, what it sounded doing, like was that he's uh he's uh he's about himself. Yeah, you know what I mean, at protecting himself. No, I don't want to be uh, controversial. Yeah, like I wouldn't be surprised that he would be like trying to get into the summer's case and stuff like that, trying to get into true crime. I wouldn't be surprised. So yeah, how did you know? but how did your daughter so, die? What's your thoughts on this two dot Dave? Two dot Dave. Two dot Dave. Oh stop. Uh, uh, thoughts on what? Uh, you're talking about the uh, the whole. Team I just Rose. noticed you're you're doing Team Rose. Yeah, you know I I kind of went over there for a while. You know, it's a it's a it's tough to uh, to talk with Team Rose. You know, it, it, she can get real ranty, where it's like, uh, yeah, I I've talked to her on a live, so yes, yeah, I know. How did that go? Um. Well, I mean, Listen at first we didn't know too much. So he says, he talks about having me on the live. We had a really, actually a nice time. I saw the live yesterday, Rose, that was great being outnumbered and you still held your own. I've done that many times. Ah, oh, you're a true New Yorker. <laughs> Thank God I was born in New York. Honestly, Richie, I think that's one of the reasons I picked that. Uh, state to be born in because it makes you tough. Aurora says, Mark Passio is going to do a comprehensive update of ep epigenetic theory from January next. Yeah. His videos on the unholy feminine. Ooh. Interesting. Mark Passio is very important. All right. Let's listen to the finish this. Much about her. And she jumped on and we, we were just kind of like, we liked her kind of like uh, her rant about, uh, Jimmy paper cut Tina and how she was just advocating for the commercial to come out. And we were like, we didn't know too much about her. And then we, then she was invited on Jones and, and then she's like, we got, we got to know her, let's just say. And it was, uh, very, very interesting. Yeah. I'm interested. I'm very, yeah, I, was, just, <laughs> I was friendly, you know, you know, you, you, you kind you, of, you, you get into you, a room you and you're you, hanging you, out with people, what are you, gonna you know, say? and you start to like, you know, because you're just tra it's just names on a board, but people being nice to you, right. you being nice back. And, uh, you know, anybody can, like, uh, put their name, you know, they can change their names overnight. I have a real but, problem. Uh, you know, you kind of you kind of get into uh, vibes with people, you know, they're kind of like uh, the virtual friends. And so, but, you know, uh, I'll pop into a live, you know, you know, after, you know, and there was like a little bit of conflict between me and her and then I'll pop into a live and she's just talking shit about me. Like, for two, like the whole live is like, you know, Dave's a dick or whatever, you know, it's like, oh, come on, man. Dead, for your dude. So I kind of just like skipped out. Yeah, she seems to be kind of like, 
she rants and she just will just go on and she'll just like she's into conspiracies like like really crazy conspiracies and doesn't really make sense she even thinks i think she legitimately thinks that jimmy i I don't think she metaphorically believes this i think she legitimately thinks that like jim dolly vision uh sold his soul to the sophistries the demon you know she's kind of like an overnight thing so it's like you know she can change on a dime so i yeah you know uh and i don't believe a lot of what uh she says i i don't i think it's like a kind of a gimmick you know where it's like because she can be rational okay you know i mean there there is she has her you'll see her on certain lives where she knows that what Mm -hmm. she's doing on hers doesn't fit and she can actually like she can rein herself in and be coherent yeah, oh, I never way, heard that uh, meditation. I never but, said but his... you ever read uh, Doctor like Metastoph- Me- what, who, who, I never said that. I said I said that he said that he sold his soul to the devil and got a bunch of cool shit. That's the quote. He said a long time ago I sold my soul to the devil and it came with a lot of cool shit. And he, he was talking about this poster. He has coined to turn dis epigenetics. His latest video is extremely interesting. Ah, I will have to check that out. Do you have a link, Han? Uh, basically, a uh, guy sold his soul to the demon. That was the demon for worldly knowledge and, and stuff like that. Watching. And All right. It's like a play, right? You know, it's just a summer. You can probably Google it. But yeah, that's the demon. So she thinks oh, that right, Dolly sold his soul to that demon. And that's why everyone likes him. Which, you know, I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, who knows? I mean, if he, if, if a demon really wants to bring chaos and destruction, I mean, who, who's the better vessel than Dolly? Oh, you know, come definitely on. a lot of chaos and destruction. Who does? So, you know, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm going I'm to get you in trouble. Me? Nah, dude, you can't get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You can try, but, you know, I will survive. Dave is very confident. We will hey, but you know, that. someone that I did meet over there, that, that's the reason why I came Listen here, this. really, um, is this guy with his channel. It's called Get to Know, and it's with the number two, Get to Know. He's promoting And Aaron. I don't know if you know who he is. His name's Aaron. Does anyone know who he is? He's really nice. No, but uh, what does this have to do with the Team Rose? Well, it's be- I met him there, and I, I, I popped into his channel today. He, he's a small small channel you know and uh he just like just celebrated his 300 subscribers mm-hmm. but what i noticed on that live that? that i really want to talk Rose. about is this um there's uh i guess <laughs> like 200 225 children in a 10, ten week oh, period man. that were found in this uh it was called operation we will find you wow which okay. they they found 225 children. They recovered them. Wow. And wow. Ten- you know what, though? Look, we're not talking about that right now. I'm What's sorry, three dot day, but we're not. We're still, we're on Team Rose for right now. See, he won't even let... He's trying to say that he met cool people through Team Rose. Thanks, Jackie. And he, he brings up Aaron's channel, Get to Know, and he talks about a very important thing. I'm not mad at Dave anymore after I heard what he actually said. And um, I guess I, 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 I don't understand why he's still blocked. But anyway, because he pisses me off sometimes. But anyway, he brings up this Operation We Will Save You. And this fucking bitch shuts him off. Okay? Oh, we're not talking about that? Something interesting and important? No, we just want to bitch on Team Rose? Wow. Now we know who she is. And I think she's part of the trafficking ring. And I honestly think that... I almost wonder if Constance Sue didn't say what she said because she wanted to warn them or something. Dave, but we're not. We're still, we're on Team Rose for right now. We'll yeah. we can maybe put that in later or something. But okay, um, Sally, you're up here and well, thanks for having listen me. to this, Lionel. Right, listen, listen. Today. And you guys, you guys have a a great day. You know, happy Saturday and uh, peace out. All right. Well, well, good one. All right. Peace out. Soon to be one dot Dave after a dolly box. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, everybody. I'm coming back again. <laughs> hey, Sally. <laughs> hey, Queen Hey, Voices. Hey, Tim. Hi, anybody else that's on the panel. 
Um, uh, and I can't. Oh, got him the mistruth teller. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I had an experience with Team Rose. Okay. Oh, shit. No. Yes. Only one. <laughs> it was only time. You want to tell us? Ali, you yes. want to tell us? I'm going to. It was the only time I've ever listened to her. And I heard, now, now you people know I live in South Africa. I'm from Zimbabwe. So Africa is my continent. Okay? And she told me that there were countries in Africa where newborn babies were tossed up in the air for crocodiles to catch them and eat them. Oh my God. What the fuck? I promise you, I even made a video about it. I was, I listened to it 10 times. And I thought if I could crawl through this internet, lady, I'd swing you by your left eyelash until that crocodile nailed your fucking leg. Excuse my language. Why is that? <laughs> Why is that? I mean, uh, dear Google. And people were agreeing with her. That was the best part. That sounds like Lionel. What? what? <laughs> yes. So there are like countries. Country Sorry, sorry. They actually, they actually thought, yes, that that was factual. Yes, that there are countries in deep dark Africa mm. where where parents stand on the banks of the river and wow. toss their newborn babies in the air for the crocodiles to jump out the water and grab them. Wow. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And what, how did this conversation, how did that conversation start? I have like, no idea. Please don't ask me because I can't remember anything before that. I'm telling you, it blanked out everything for me. I was so, so mad. I mean, like, someone needs to get, like, Tina, you know, like, one of those shot collars for dogs, something like that, and just, like, put it around her neck, put it around her neck, and just whenever she starts about to say something fucking batshit crazy, just hit that button. Just like, no, 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 Tina. I wanted to, Tim, I wanted to start a fundraiser to bring her to deep, dark Africa. And that those countries where they, they throw babies up in the air, I wanted them to throw her up in the air and let the crocodiles freaking grab her. Listen to that. I mean, seriously? Yeah, anyway, seriously. I just wanted to share my one. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Anna. Says a lot about her character cutting off. Sorry, I said apparently, yes. I said apparently, yes, she's serious. Apparently. Yes. yes. It happens. Yes, she is. She's a woman? <laughs> I don't believe that. I think she's a man. Anyway, I had to share my one and only story with Team Rose. Needless to say, I've never listened to her again. Okay, <laughs> Jimmy. Just goes uh, way back. Dolly, you better. Uh, you should just definitely let uh, Team Rose see all these crazy theories on the channel. I'm sure your channel will stay monetized and everything. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, Dolly, well. I think this would be this would be a showstopper. I think white South Africans all the same. Very Appalachian. That's interesting. Uh, but I like what you said, Anna. That she stops Dave saying something important. And, um, and, 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 and only to, hi, PJ. I bought some soap. I bought a Team Rose bar and I got somebody else to buy one too. Good to see you, hon. Lost my son and daughter. So sorry, babe. It's just unbearable. That's as bad as what BHB said. Wow. What did she say? Is y'all coming down here for the funeral today? Who's coming down? Is your family coming down by Jackie? Good to see you, Jackie, my darling. Promise you it's not me. Doesn't it sound like you though? But I could sound like her. Yes, yes. She's your generation. That's what I deal with every day. Picture my mother. Hmm, interesting. Don't you think that's interesting? I'm gonna let you listen to the rest of this. Well, this would I think be a showstopper. I think you'd get better numbers than you've had in a long time. You're right about that. It'll definitely be a show. It'll definitely be a showstopper for sure. Mm. A showstopper. Look, Donnie is such a hobbit that they could throw him up on the banks of the river in the deep, dark countries in Africa, and the crocodiles could jump up and grab him. <laughs> that 
would be an appetizer, Sally. That wouldn't be enough to fill them. Those uh, those uh, crocodiles and alligators be so pissed. But you know the problem is that they most probably suffer from indigestion and be running around with tums throwing them up in the air <laughs> for the crocodiles to grab. They could beg in for Prilosec. Oh, give me some Nexium. Oh. <laughs> no, but you know that crocodiles here in Africa, one useless little in fact about crocodiles in Africa, um, they are not saltwater crocodiles for a start. They are just normal freshwater crocodiles. They don't have tons. So what they do with the, their prey, they grab it and then they put it into an underwater cavern till it rots and then they eat it, they gulp it. But um, that's well, what since, they do. Well, since Dolly's rotten already, they can just gobble it. <laughs> <laughs> all he needs is some extra water and that shit's going to be toxic. <laughs> and you'll kill off all your crocodiles. Shame. No, you know, I like a croc. No, I don't really like them, but I mean, they're much needed, okay? Especially for grabbing newborn babies that are thrown up in the air. So, it's feeding like really them dolly. American tourists. Yeah, but, uh, feeding them dolly might, might make them extinct. Right. Yeah. So, That's called animal cruelty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Peter will That's be animal there on your ass, Molly. Pardon? PETA will be there on your ass momentarily. Keep threatening the crocodiles. <laughs> That's got to be a man line. Anyway, thank you, Queen Bee, for letting me up. And um, Bad thanks, kid. Tim and, oh and Voices, God. for bearing, putting up with me and the chat. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be, be, Betty said I that. I adore you. No. I just adore you. I am such a Sally fan girl. I'm sorry. You just always, I, I, you just make my day brighter. Thank you. My darling, thank you very much. I'm just an old hag with a big mouth who's, street, who's grown up on the streets. That's all. And doesn't know when to shut their mouth at the best of times. Ah, anyway, I get myself into cup. Anyway, yeah, we go. have a fantastic rest of your weekend. It's um, nine o'clock at night here, so yeah, it's not I'm Jim. Prepare exactly. some stuff. Uh, all it's right, never Jim. Care, it's Jimmy. Yeah, ciao, home. ciao. <laughs> he probably is. All right, who's, All right. Got, who's up next? Okay. What, what did you think of that? What did you think of that? Yeah, he's like Doug, who wants to suck Don, Don Wells' dick. Excuse my French. I'm so rude to hang around with you lovely, wonderful Southerners. Well, my God, you all know how to bash, and I've learned my skills have been honed from hanging around with cheap dollar. What a waste of Dave's time going. I know to pass a blessing along. I know. He goes up there. He offers he offers Aaron's channel with some really good, important information, and they slapped him down. They, they talk about Jimmy all the time and then and then says something about someone else saying something. I know, exactly. Morning Glory says white. It's very rich white. Had to flee. Zimbabwe, Rhodesia. Lost the millions. Called Wen West. Because they all say when they were there, the biggest racists on, the, on this planet. Oh my God. So what is her problem? She doesn't like me saying, uh, uh, commenting on a story that I read. I probably read that about the about the the certain tribes throwing their babies to the alligators uh, in the New York Times. It was definitely not a frivolous uh, documentation, document, wherever I got the fucking thing. No, the croc, they take their prey and take them under the water and spin them around. So for the kill, oh God. Sweetie Pie says, not so secret diary, Betty, Betty, I mean, to PJ. Betty was talking about killer teens and children like Aiden Fucci, not normal children. Oh, wow, yeah, wow. God, that's a heavy topic. They feed crocodiles chickens and they throw them up in the air. I live near a croc farm, huh? Wow. They talk about Dolly like he controls everyone. I know. And then, and it says a lot. They low-key love him, all of them. <laughs> That's interesting, PJ. That's interesting. Say, saying euthanize, using a shock collar. Oh, wow. Well, euthanize is, refers to pets and uh, people, too. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They do have tongues. Believe me, 
there, believe me, there are people who would get rid of any human flesh with crocodiles and lions. Think Hannibal with the wild boars. Well, Mainers, uh, they'll have their pigs eat you, eat your body to get rid of the body. You'll never find the body. Um, and that's why I always paid my workers because I didn't want any of them stealing from me or killing me um, and then feeding me to their pigs after raping me, of course. Um, because, and they told me that. these The criminals that worked for me, um, scary dudes, actually. Uh, but we all, we all, I loved them because they worked for me. I, and they did, you know, I mean, I love anybody who works for me. It's, it's like, if you help me, I fucking love you. You know, I'll, I'll work with you, you know, make sure. Because I do know what I'm doing when it comes to contracting, weirdly. But I do know what I'm doing. I've had a lot of experience with it, actually. And it come from two builders. So why is it that surprising? I knew Dolly didn't like being called that. Yes. Jim. I tried to tell Dave that. He didn't want to hear it from me. And uh, thanks for validating that. Because I don't think he cares that much. But I don't think it, it definitely bothers him. His name isn't Jim at all. It's Jimmy or Dolly. Is it James? It's more James than Jim. It's not Jim. It's like, that's the one thing. It's not, you know? And uh, <coughs> I'm glad you said that, PJ, because I wanted to confirm that. Because he's never called Jim. It's Jimmy. Jimmy. It's very specific. Specifically Jimmy. Crocs are like gators. They will eat anything that, li that lives, even people and pets. Yeah, and so will pigs, which are half human. I mean... They come from a, a human and a, bo a wild boar combined genetically. And uh, they were designed to, it's so gross. A wild boar and a human, ugh. And then come up with a pig. And the pig, the pig will eat anything, but it tastes good. Because humans taste good, apparently. Wheeze, when wheeze. T. Swain, they sounded like demons talking about devouring human flesh. Sickening panel over there on QB. Ew, what? Now? They were talking about devouring human flesh? Oh my God. She was warning them about me. I think, in a way, ish. You know what I mean? But Constance Sue, I do think likes me. She's even said to me, she goes, I love it. I love you, Rose. Even when you're bashing me, I love you. Now that's an interesting point of view. That will require a lot of savvy, for one thing, and a mission, you know, deeper and bigger and broader than everybody else's intelligence. Because Constance Sue is very smart, but she sticks up for me. She says, look, Rose is Rose. She goes on rants. They can last a week. They can last two days. They can last an hour. Um, she, she, she goes through it, and then it's over, is how she processes. Or she said something kind of like that. And I was like, ah, thank you, Constance. She understands me. And she's like, there's nothing you can do. Don't bother, you know, her thing was don't send, P uh, uh, you know, 5150 over to your house, her house. Like, she, and then they're telling her, oh, this, she's having an episode. This is a manic episode, or this is a bipolar episode, or whatever the fuck. You know, I'm intense, so I'm passionate. So I'm having an episode because you, what, you can't stand my passion? You can't stand it that somebody else talks like you? Only with a, a, a good reason, a good purpose? You think you're the only one that can say fuck, fuck, fuck every five fucking seconds? I can say fuck, fuck, fuck every five fucking seconds too, Queen Bee. It's not special. That's not what makes you special. It's the other things you say that makes a person special. Darling, I would think the witches. And they're all sacrificed. There's dark, dark shit that goes on in Africa. That woman acting like that and, and acting like she wanted to throw me to the crocodiles? That's very scary to me. That woman scares me. And I think she's uh, the kind of person that I wouldn't want to have anything to do with. She sounds like she'd hire a hitman or she'd go get hire somebody and then laugh at you and then act like you deserved it because you didn't like something. She said something she pretended to not like, even though she really doesn't give a shit because she actually sounds like she's fucking crazy. She sounds like she's actually crazy. Um... That, and also, us sounds like a woman. Threw a chicken in the air. 
and uh, AI could make could make a deep fake video. Sally is an ignorant. Why I hardly have subs from South Africa. They think I'm a cuckoo nut, like a witch hunt. Really interesting. Maybe you should get out of there. What do you think? But is it good for you to be there? I don't know. Do you need it? Are they? Or are you needed there? Put your bare feet on the ground, darling. Yeah, his name is Jimmy. Thank you. His name is Jimmy. Yes, yes, PJ. Yes, you know it. I know it. Hi. Thank you. You really, I actually was touched. My heart was moved. I cried, actually, because you you stuck up for me. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And she's like, don't send 5150. She just rose. She just goes through things. She's, it's just the way she is. It's not a big deal. You know, she's like, it's not a big deal. And she actually, they, they were calmed down. They were like, uh, they listened to her, actually. I was, I was actually impressed by that concert. So I wish that you and Jimmy could get along because... I'd like to like both. And that was nice of you. I don't know why you did. I thought I was like, she either did it because she genuinely does understand me and actually feels a real desire to, to explain a, a couple things. I loved what you brought up about Mo and Avery and Benny. I watch you from the bushes all the time. <laughs> it meant a lot to me that you, that you not only have the intelligence that I like, that I prefer, um, even if you do work for the CIA, which you probably might. <laughs> um, I loved what you said. I loved that you said everything you said out, up on that panel. I thought that took guts. And uh, you, you said what you said on purpose. Now, I don't know if you go up there all the time, but I was like, you were like, she hates Avery and Moe. Avery and Moe have terrorized her. She thinks they're the devil. She thinks they hired Benny Keys. She, but then Ro, I think the, the, the things you pointed out, I thought were, were like little jaw dropping. One sentence after another, you were like, and then she offered to pay Benny Keys $10,000 to call it off. I actually was $11,000. Same here, Rosie says, Rich, I, work, I worked with many ex-cons over the years, many... We'll put in the work. Some want to change. Many can't do it, so they fuck up again because they want that fast money and they go back to the pen. Yeah. Yeah. I just hate our system. Rants. Wow. Can last long. That's my addiction. I don't know. Interesting. It's hard to believe there's two people that sound like you. Thank you for sticking up for Team Rose, Constant Sue. I know. I want Jimmy to like you a little more, even though I know you don't like Jimmy, but Jimmy's making me a soap. Rants are good. See, I like people. I like women who understand rants. That our rants are healthy. That they help you move the energy. That they they get it out. And for people who can't express themselves, listening to a good rant, I think it benefits them. You know. And if you're gutsy enough to rant and share it, I guess other people sometimes you'll be. It's like amazing. You're like, oh my god. My mother used to really support anger and rants. She, she never, ever told anyone to shut up or calm down or stop saying that. No, if you were screaming and yelling about something, she would say, right on, sister, right on. My mother knew what to say. She's an amazing woman. I, I miss her. She's an amazing woman. She's in me, though. I mean, you know, she's not, I mean, I, my, my mother and I are genetically, you know, together. It's the thing with Max, though. Holy shit. And I really appreciate Tina. And Becky for looking up Max Spears and Jimmy, obviously, I mean, you might know who he is. And Jimmy actually agrees with me on so much, on everything, really. He's, he'll say, oh, I don't know about that, but, 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 but now he's like coming around. Now he's like, all right, I believe all this stuff. You know you do, Jimmy. You were the original guy with the, um, Jimmy was always talking about aliens. Jimmy would talk, he had that Mandala Effect video that got him famous on the YouTube streets. And that is the whole thing. The mandala effect is the whole thing about the matrix. And people who don't want to go, go into these rabbit holes who are too afraid to look, I'm not interested in those people at all. And when poor Terry Joyce got killed and cloned and turned into that monster, not my rabbit hole, oh gosh, that was, that was sad, man. They killed Max, they killed Terry. Am I accepting that he finally died? For the first time, seven years later, I'm in shock and my body's on fire. My body's on fire. 
uh, I'm not going to be able to stay on too much longer. But my body's on fire and it's swelling. I don't know if I can take this thing with Max. I can't take it. I don't know if I can take it, guys. I don't know how I'm going to. I got to put my feet on the ground. The thing about the earthing is very real. There's a lot of videos coming out about earthing, about how it heals your body. Your bare feet on the green grass. That's the best, in my opinion. T swings, they were doing too much the way they were describing Crocs eating human flesh. Ew. Didn't mean to make it seem like cannibalism. Oh. When? Oh, on, just now? Oh, God. How can you? Okay. I know because you work with her. I like that you stuck up for me on that channel. Oh, that's nice of you. And they obviously respect you. PJ says constant puts all of Dolly's record. Even the stuff that got dismissed on her community tab. I would love to do the same to you, Constance, as you clearly know so much better. Ah, oh, yeah, all right. Got to get ready for work, Rose. Well, thanks for coming over, sweetie. PJ, have at it. You, you women are intense. I like that you stuck up for me, and then she's like, on a good note, she's beautiful skin. Although I look like shit because I'm swollen. You would, you would, you wouldn't believe the way I look, Constance. Did, did a witch cast a spell on me so I, I look horrible? Maybe. The pain in in the back of my neck and the back of my left ear, it isn't. It is not subsiding, guys. This is going on and on. Dollar says, "Thank you for being there for Rose when she needed you." Yeah, it was really nice the way you redirected that. Now maybe you said that for shock value. It, 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 or are you to make me seem crazy? I mean, they know I'm not crazy. I mean, uh, they uh, even that Willow guy got up there and said, oh, she makes a lot of sense. And they, everybody actually would no matter for the first time, instead of everybody calling me batshit crazy, people were like, no, she actually makes a lot of sense sometimes. But she goes on these rants and she gets all worked up and she gets all upset. And I do go on rants. So that was nice. I mean, I didn't know your relationship with her, but I was like, but even if I thought you were part of their world, I thought, well, she's explaining me so that they don't have to freak out and worry about me. She's just like, look, she goes on rants. She's, she's 60. She's in her sixties. I'm actually 60, but yes, I'm in my sixties, but it's at the very beginning, she pointed that out. Oh, she also brought out that I was in theater. Yeah. When that woman said that on the live on the croc, I was thinking, what? I guess I missed something. Love you, honey, Louise. Good, good to see you, baby. Okay, so Constance Sue. Constance Sue and I have had our battle. She likes to battle. She's you're strong, Constance Sue. You're very, very, very strong. It's almost alarming. It's like Constance Sue. So I can't think. So you, you know, you're one of the smartest ones on the, on these on these streets. I loved. I loved that you said what you said about me and what I and where I'm coming from because for you to put that out there. Now, why did you do that, Constance Sue? What sub agenda that, and another sub agenda and another sub agenda? Because to me, what you said was very was very specific, and we're gonna listen to it. But I have to go soon. Hey, when non-medical, I feel like I need to take a thousand showers, you know, because this is not getting better. Hold on, I gotta do something. Okay, physical, mental. Okay, I'm gonna do something right now. Physical, mental, emotional, antagonism, anger, resentment. Resentment in jaw, resentment in skull, resentment in teeth. No, gums. Yep, all gums. Left side, right side. Resentment in brain. Yep, resentment in uh, skin. Yep. Shit. Ha. Huh. <sighs> I hate when non-medical professionals make that medical diagnosis about some of these defending themselves. Exactly. Well said, chili chick. Perfectly said. Perfectly said. It's kind of nice to be stuck up for over there. Looks nice. See, Constance Sue is an intelligent, is intelligent enough to recognize my intelligence. And then she said she drinks apple cider vinegar. She's all about the earth. She she's into health. And they were like, oh yeah, she seems like the type to be into theater and organic, et cetera, which is exactly what I am. Oh God, this thing is so swollen, guys. I'm, I'm really nervous. Right. Physical, mental, okay. Thoughts, the mental, my mental body. What percent is stressed? Five, 10, 15, 20, 20%. Okay. Physical, mental, 
Okay, my mental body is got distress, negative thinking. All right, what percentage? 5, 10, 15, 20. 20% 20 of my mental body is, is, is not doing me any favors. Let's fix it. Physical, mental. Okay, my mental body is, is my eyes are closed, so I can't read the chat. I swear I don't work for the CIA or traffic kids. I hope not. I would be so happy if you didn't. Um, I swear I don't work for the CIA or traffic kids. Oh God, I hope not. Knowingly, knowingly. Are you MK? Maybe you're an MK Ultra. Well, anyway, I think it's nice that you're trying to build a bridge. I thought it was also smart on the level of, you know, a lot of people that hated Ernie Shell and hate Dolly, um, but like me, somehow, um, w you know, I mean, rents are good. It's unhealthy to keep it in. I know when you guys were letting me we supporting that, even though I was being very crude. Let's, I mean, I admit it. I'm not going to, I can be very crude. Um, but don't be a hypocrite. Don't, don't, don't attack me for being crude when you're the crudest thing on God's green fuck shit earth. Okay. And it's not a fuck shit. It's a beautiful earth. He didn't know what about Jimmy, that he likes to be called Jimmy. Yeah. He's definitely not Jim. There's nothing Jim about Jimmy. So Dave calling him Jim. I, I sort of get it on one tiny level. But I thought that Dave going over there and bringing up that thing about Aaron and the, the, the project will rescue you and those 20, 220 kids or 25 kids, whatever, that got rescued. I wanted to hear more about that. Actually, I think that did if, if Dave got up on Aaron's, you could cut, you both could come up here and talk about that. My, my left, my left, this is causing me so much pain. I cannot believe the pain's coming back. Shit. It's not the system. When it comes to ex-cons, it's up to them so they can change. Few do. The most don't. Many have that hood mentality mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Send prayers where we start. See, now, Richie, I'm going to believe you when you say shit about, you know, what your experience is with prisons and stuff. Right? I mean, I, I haven't been there. I don't want to go there. I've seen movies. I've talked to people. You're a real person. You're telling us. You're sharing your truth. Why wouldn't I believe you? You know what I mean? Oh, my God, guys. My body is going through something really bad, and it is not good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were pushing me by coming over here. And, um, you know, oh, God, guys. Oh, God, guys. Can he? Can, can Jimmy put a dash of peppermint in, my, in the rose soap, I hope? Oh, so I hope on a rope. Um, yeah, they were totally over here harassing me. It was ridiculous for them to shit talk me. They they stream me being attacked by them and my reaction to it. And then act like I'm this, I'm this big bitch. It really is sickening the way these trolls operate. So Constance, you know, that that entertains you. But about Tear, says, says um, Lionel. She now has been super rude to White Rabbit. Really? But using White Rabbit in her punchline. Well, that's a whole Illuminati thing, the White Rabbit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's weird. The Earthing movie is free on YouTube. Evan Earthing Matt. Oh, God. Do you? I need to get one of those Earthing mats. It's like made of suede or something. Um... I did it because it's true, period. <laughs> you mean talk about me? I mean, I really I really liked what you said. I, I, I thought, wow, she's getting to the point, to the root of it. Um, you did not insult me. You did not put me down. You did not call me crazy. You 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 stated those facts, which I think are facts, which are facts. In my, and, and I was amazed you did that. I was amazed you did that. Makes me wonder whose side you're on, Constance Sue. Hmm. I was there and Rose defended herself. Yeah, it was all defense. Some call me crazy in my life, but when on social media they call me crazy, I tag them and I say, let's talk live. You love to talk. I know. I know. It's funny. I, I haven't heard you say too much. I haven't agreed with you except for maybe one thing I didn't agree with. But I can't remember what it was. T. Swain says, I remember Max 
Spears. I have no evidence that he's gone. I know. No, I don't. But why am I crying? Everything we know was told to us, not shown. That's right. The fake body. There were like five fake bodies. And we were not present to witnesses. But So you don't have to accept anything, Rose. Thanks. Thank you. Is he hurting? I don't know. Is he sad? I don't get it. Why am I crying? I have every reason to cry with the condition my body is in. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm slowly dying because there's my, this swelling is going across my whole entire fucking body. And I don't understand that. Hey, Tracy Lampman. Good morning, Rose. Wishing you a very blessed day. Thanks, honey. Windsor, Ontario, Ontario Canada. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Rose, my tooth was so messed up. My face was swollen, says PJ. Wow. I had to go to the ER. It was so bad. Oh, shit. So what happened, hon? God, I'm scared to go to the ER. I hate the. Well, the ER actually has the best people. Yes, yeah, she did. I hate that she was provoked. Her normal rants are fun and happy. <laughs> well, I, I uh, usually when I rant, I am angry. I have done a lot of rants about Sippy. Um, I did a lot of rants about Don and Candace when I realized what they'd done to their daughter. Huh. Thanks, Julie. So sweet. BK Ultra. <laughs> yeah, a sailor's daughter. That's right. Although I don't sail, I only like to kayak. Big, big, badass sailors don't like kayakers, but that's my speed. I like to be close to the water, close to earth. I don't want to be on some big fucking metal boat. I want to be close to the shore and look at the houses from that perspective. I like to go slow and think, you know? That's what I like to do. Anybody want to go kayaking? Damn, so much of us have our have or had tooth problems. I really don't even drink soda or eat sweets. Mm. I will have the occasional chocolate cake. I've never been to prison, Rosie, or jail. <sighs> well, that's good, but you know a lot about it. White Rabbit Cool Jam. I always thought White Rabbit was a CIA plant on the streets. God, really? I honestly thought so, too, at one point. I was like, well, anybody who defends the Wells. So, Constance, did you ever say what happened, what you think happened to Summer? I thought it was really interesting that she said that on Queen Bee's channel, that I, that, that Ernie Shell, I love the way you phrased it. It took the blame all off of me. You, you're very smart and very clever and you're a good manipulator. I'll tell you that. And if you work for the good, you're a damn good asset. Rich, you were a true gentleman. He is nice. Rich says, I remember what it was. When we disagreed, Rosie. Yeah, what it was that we got heated. I don't remember that. I, I I know. Ow, it hurts. Mommy. Mommy. I need my mommy. Thanks for being here, 98 people. Uh, that's more than I used to get. Now I'm getting more people. Thanks, guys. I had a whole bunch of new subs. I really appreciate you guys subbing me up. So you want to hear the rest of it? So anyway, I really liked what she said. Um, let's listen. All right, who's got, who's up next with the crazy story? Uh, who's up there? Infamous truth teller, you're still on here, right, baby? Can you? Yeah, I'm yeah. here. I just want to let, let her tell you know, see her. Oh. her. Yep, I, I, I just wanted to comment real quick um, with Team Rose. Like, she, she, it sounds extremely concerning the way she she narrates her channel because it just sounds like there's some, some uh, mental health awareness. I think That's that, because you ain't got no sense of humor, lady. That's why you think I sound like I belong in a mental institution because that's the kind of thinking you got. No one ever took you to a play, not your fault. No one ever showed you what theater is about. No one ever, you never seen an actor like me ever in your life. So of course you're going to think I'm mentally ill because you ain't got no nothing else to go by, baby. What the hell? Thank you for being here, Team Rose. Thank you. What you say you shouldn't on your business? You're cute. What's your name? I like your, I like your wristies. Wristies are important. It was the abortion. Oh, right. God. Looks like you're getting your way, babe. You're, hi, Debbie. Hi, nice to see you, babe. Yes, hit the like. <laughs> I know. this. I hate this woman that comes up next. She's, I don't even want to play her, but... Yeah. Yeah, just, oh, just definitely. Yeah. yeah, that's all I wanted to say, because I was just like, wow, I was blown away right now when you were playing that. I was like, wow. That's oh, my God, still, she's still going, bro. She's fucking, so we've been around four, four hours over here, right? She's still fucking... Uh, I also like that you tried to build a bridge 
in a way between the tra does channels constant. So I have to wonder what your deeper agenda is. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because it's like, I don't know. It's interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, who, who took your name? Well, what about your real name? Can you do partially your real name? Because I like real. Your, your accents make my heart happy. Thank you. See, you have that a level of intelligence that is flexible, movable, adaptable, ready to roll, ready to rock, ready to laugh. If you're ready to laugh. You are my kind of girl, okay? My kind of guy. Oh, God, Rich. Only if you stick up for me. Join it if you want to stick up for me. Um, but I mean, they're not going to talk about me forever, but they might. I mean, I really am shocked the way they treated Dave. They acted like they said, oh, we feel bad for you because you were treated badly over there on Dolly's. And he's like, ah, it's all good because Dave is just like, no, everybody ends up loving me in the end. It's all good. I'm a big, happy puppy. I'm a big, happy, roly poly, cute, furry, golden retriever. Who's like, <laughs> You know, and just like, don't worry, we're going to play ball. What? You guys are upset? Don't worry. Let's go get ice cream. Like, you could just tell he's like, you know, he's, he kind of rides on top of like, he doesn't get caught in to these things. You know, um, you thought White Rabbit was a CIA plot. I, that's what I thought. When she was defending Benny Keys, I thought, okay, okay. So, Constance Sue, I think it's pretty interesting what I thought it was interesting that you brought up all the points that you brought up about Mo harassing me, about the money. The facts are, and you can say these facts, that originally I said that I thought that uh, based on the evidence surrounding me that uh, and the things that people were saying and the threats that people were really making to which I have receipts and it's all recorded and I had, it was all on one channel, I got taken down. It might still be on this channel but my, this channel might be taken down as well. Um, for, for, so I think Constance Sue, maybe you didn't want them to try to take down my channel. Oh, maybe that's what the uh, agenda was. Maybe you were like, you didn't say that, but maybe you don't want them to take down my channel because you like my channel. Apparently she makes meth secretly behind the scenes, according to Jimmy. Um, she's been bitching at Jimmy and harassing Jimmy and shitting, shit talking Jimmy for a really long time. Um, Jimmy doesn't even really know why, apparently. Um, he sort of is like, see, Jimmy isn't really, he loves to shit talk. He can love to shit talk, but his true vibe is, 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 uh, a, a, a golden light. He's here to uplift. How big is the channel? Yo, she's pretty big. I think she's got like 12,000, or I don't remember, something like that. She's pretty big, you know. People love bitches. They love bitches. Look how many people I got being bitchy. <laughs> um, but some people don't like it when I'm bitchy, and some people don't mind it. Yeah, bitchy, bitchy really, uh, beachy really. Uh, that was upsetting to hear her go on. And I thought, wow, she's she's really a backstabber. Um, I feel bad about that, you know? I mean, so anyway, Constance Sue, yeah, you're interesting. You are interesting. I like, I like intelligence. So anyway, she, she goes in there and she says, so what, anyway, what I thought was that Mo, a Maureen, Maureen Cook, who has dated her own name out there. She puts my name out there. They all, they all doxed me. They all, and Jimmy does not dox anyone ever. It's not his game. He just wants you guys to give him money and join his club. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I've been told. I'm, I, I don't know. It's a rumor, but I don't, you know, that's what Jimmy said. I think I know, uh, she has a very deep, rough voice, which either means that she has a medical condition or she's smoked her whole life or both, or there's almost a robotic sound to it. Um, and so it made me wonder, um, if she had one of those voice things um, and, or is just a smoky old hag type thing or, um, cause I can sound smoky too. Um, not as quite as, 
You said everything I've been trying so hard to not say about Anne Horn says none of this. Oh my God. Wild Angel, thank you for being real with us. I guess it had to be said. I mean, I held it in too. We all held it in. We all held it. I mean, I, I made my videos uh, responding to the abuse that I thought that Tina was suffering from. And um, every whatever. And I made my videos. And you know, I do feel very protective of Tina. I don't know exactly why, but I, I mean, I could say why. She's all the reasons. She's a beautiful, wonderful woman. I don't know. I mean, she's she's been in some great weird worlds. I mean, I, you know, she's interesting. She's my age. She's a woman. You know, she looks great. She loves to research true crime, and she she uh, thinks Ernie is a super soldier, and she believes that stuff. I like people like that. Um. I like that she's intelligent. I love intelligence, guys. I'm like my mother that way. My mother loved intelligent people. Even if they were hideous, she loved them if they were intelligent. She almost was drawn to to, to these these old women that were not, not lookers at all. But she just loved them because they were intelligent, you know? And I get it. She needed intelligence. She loved to be around it. She She chose intelligent friends. But she started choosing a lot of alcoholics. Oh, smoking meth takes your voice away. Oh, does it? Well, Willow, I don't know. Then, Matt, then Dolly was accusing Willow, basically, I think, of, of being a, a crackhead or meth head or something. I'm not sure in the chat. I'm not sure they were having their own battle, which I wasn't really totally watching. And uh, Willow was like, oh, I only talked to Team Rose this one time, but she made a lot of sense back then. FF, I don't, I don't make meth. Constance says she does not. I don't. I don't think you make meth. Please ask people to prove things. No, we're saying that about. Um, I've heard that about um, Queen B. Not you. I would. Not, and I don't think you make meth. Your voice. Your voice is. You don't sound like a drug addict. I mean, I don't think you sound like a drug addict. I don't think you sound like you. I'm not even sure if you smoke. Do you smoke? I don't know much about meth either. It's not my bag. I'm I'm a pot. I like pot. She had a robotic voice. Sounds like she smoked too much glass pipes and smoked her teeth up until they were gone. Oh God. Oh, she's really fucking popular. So maybe the meth heads like her. I'm 55 and almost 315 pounds as Constance. I have all my teeth. Hardly the profile of a meth user. Right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. That's. You know, thank you for being honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't get meth head from you at all. I don't get drug addict. Do you even smoke? I can tell you don't smoke. Sometimes I, I haven't seen someone say that about you. No, no one said it about Constance. They're saying it about QB. Never smoked. Like the time in junior high school, I don't smoke weed either. Yeah, you don't seem like you're a druggie at all, at all. Um, not one time in high, in junior like one time in junior high not like well, not one time in junior meth marker not for me does anyone know how to launder money though <laughs> um let's finish this because i gotta get i want to watch i want to let's finish this let's okay right you still uh, fucking strong over there i'm gonna oh, get my, my orange goodness. juice i'll run downstairs look at this people ruining lives yeah yeah yeah, yeah. tina this tina that dolly yeah you see vimeo has real people and it's like it's so refreshing to be on vimeo now i like the format of youtube but when i get taken down i go to vimeo and then i start making money okay and i start growing like a wildfire so that's crazy like, that almost sounds like the, the way she sounds. Like, I mean, I'm not professional <laughs> by all means, but like almost like VIP, you know, like different personalities. Like, almost hey. bring. No, uh, is that what you're all about? Is your mini? Yeah, uh, we're right up with her, like right up with the. Way back in the faces days. Wait, we've known each other. Have you ever seen that, uh, that show, um, um, Petty Wait. Dreadful? That series? Is that what I hear you? She sounds like a. Uh, the character on there where she gets possessed, but like um, she gets possessed. It's, it's a really good series, Penny Dreadful, but that's what she sounds like in the name. What up, piece of shit? What up, piece of shit? You saying we need Tyler Feller to exercise demons from her? Tyler Feller, we need your help. Come bless uh, Team Rose. We need you to give her a blessing. She'll send you the Rose takes a blessing. Tyler Olstein to the hive, please. Tyler Olstein to the hive. <laughs> I'm going to jump down. I just wanted to say that because I was just like blown away. And I'm like, that sounds like some serious mental health awareness uh, topic. It really is. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. All right, you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you for having uh-huh. Take care, bye. And then there was three. I knew you were fake, Dave. I just fucking knew it. What do you mean? What would Queen B do without my rant? Obviously, she's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look, get all the people. Okay. There's like a hundred fucking family that was contacted. Who are you calling? Who's family? My family? You know, Peggy. See, that's the thing. And we were talking about it now. There's like a hundred fucking people over there fucking with her. You know what I mean? I'm not really having too much fun. I'm just basically like, this woman needs help. She needs to cut off the fucking internet. She needs to skedaddle off here and join reality. Possibly go to her psychiatrist. Like, like book an appointment literally in 20 minutes. Because this is not good. And anyone encouraging this behavior, Dolly's not, no, I'm not encouraging her. This woman needs help. It's not good. Yeah, she's over there still fucking off. And people are in there fucking with her. I mean, there's... Ew. You know? Who burns them? Do you put cigarettes on your butt? Are you a sadomasochist? Do you want people to put their cigarettes out on your arms? Right here is why. This is why you don't fuck with people, because you don't know what they're... I mean, shit, she's obviously going through some shit. Like, for real. Um, been ran for four fucking hours now. Jesus. Fuck. Three hours... Well, it's day three. I can't tell if you love me or you hate me. Three fucking hours... Of this. I don't know how the fuck she's not exhausted at this point. Well, you know, crazy helps. You ever heard like the strength you get from when you like crazy people get like superhuman strength or something like that? It's, it's the superhuman crazy rant. Yeah, yeah, she's really man. She's fucking going. She's going hard. Still three hours into this shit. That's that's what I mean. Like it's she's I right, we were talking about wet t shirt contest and it's fucked up. See, right? Uh, it's so crazy. Welcome to Team Rose's Rants. There's more where this came from. Queenie, if you're looking for material, baby. <laughs> Dave, fuck off. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Dave. Sorry, Dave. I'm going to shit talk you, Dave. Why don't you start a channel, you asshole? Sorry, Dave. I take that back. Who's Dave? The one that was just here? Three fucking dot, Three Dave. Dave. Three fucking dot, Dave. Oh, man. Let me see. No, no, I'm, I'm not mad at this. Dave. But I, I apologize for being mad at him because I didn't hear it first. I, I done math for this morning. Wow, sassy since birth. Don't get druggy. But get trial trafficker? I think she works with Benny. And QB makes meth? That's the word on the street, honey pie. <laughs> I'm facilitating negative behavior and outlooks. Oh, is it disappointing? Good. I'm so happy you won't have to be back here. To be tortured by me. Hi, Teacup. Yeah, he was just over here. Over that day to uh, uh, now he's over there. Over there. Our chat. Send money All right, right. I typed my message there. You, you, said, you were just ragging on them. Yeah, you know, I know. Ragging on him is all that's. I see I get blood it, be over there. What do you think of her it's voice, Rich? Song, I promise you that. Somebody's got. Feedback that I can hear. Why don't you go back to your, to your look, maniac? You're see. unsupervised. You probably aren't taking your meds, and you should probably go ahead and do what you're told to do by the Illuminati, okay? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what up, Willow? I seen you over oh, there. Fuck. Oh, then Willow talks about me. That's interesting what he said. What up, baby? How you doing, sweetheart? What up, baby? What's what up, going baby? On, man? man I, hey, Willow. <laughs> Dude, how you doing, baby? 
That's oh, your bitch is hyper focused on me, dude. I, I swear to God, go back and watch it. I didn't say a word. I saw him in there. I didn't say a word. Didn't come in and address him at all. Nothing. So this, I came this in and she said, yeah. just you know, want you to be the only be over here buzzing around. Like I said, yeah. that's, said howdy. And, uh, Dude, he just fucking started mm-hmm. immediately. Mm-hmm. I gave him the third one. Uh, up mm-hmm. to the third tag, that was it. I said, all right, fucking this <laughs> And then it just kind of went from there. Mm-hmm. Nobody else in the chat said shit to me either. Mm-hmm. No, it was just me and him. It might as well have been nobody else in that fucking chat. I agree, like, I don't think he addressed anybody else from the time I came in there. Not one time. I could be wrong, but if it is, I'd say my comments were 10 to 1. I, I, I watched it. <laughs> 10 to 1. All Willow. Nothing non-fucking stop. I was like, damn, it's pretty cool. All right, definitely. So he was watching. I was kind of touched a little bit. And then even PJ got in the mix of it, which the more I thought about it, PJ wasn't even around back then, at least not to my knowledge. So no, that I means... Think, I think PJ starts trying to tag you when he can. Uh-huh. And like, yeah, you can come up here if you want to. Constance, you're welcome to come up here. Yeah, he was here. She said something to the effect of... Uh, yeah, that's where you now know that troll account that they was, PJ, because she said the exact same shit. Something about Willows and Sags and you get a rich. I said, first off, bitch, don't nobody give me a wrench. Ooh, ever. I anywhere. Baby. I have no wrench. Say I'm without wrench. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I forgot Yeah, I do have one over there. Hi, I forgot you got one on my channel, too. No, I'm liar. Oh, you're, a liar. I'm I'm liar. you're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah, I'm a liar. I'm here for you. That's like I ain't I said, dude, the wrist don't mean shit yeah, to me. I said, the only thing about the wrist means anything to me was when the summit started selling them the fucking the tragedy pants that he used to talk shit against. I said, you know, that bothered me a little bit. I said, me, myself, I don't personally care. I said, but the biggest takeaway is, is you weren't even around for this. I said, which means that he actually lays awake at night and whispers sweet nothings to his girlfriend you, about me. Who the fuck is winning this race? That's shit. I'll take it. Um. I don't remember PJ being around. I, like, I, mean, I could be wrong, but if she was, she was off in the bushes somewhere. She was not Probably. a player of the channel. Probably off in the bushes, mostly. But anyway, guys, I got to skedaddle. I'm, I think uh, uh, she, T. Rose is uh, out crazy me. I cannot say I'm running off. I got to do some things. You guys have I know. to know. I'll see you later, mate. All right, BJ. It's very interesting Bye, how guys. they all get diffused. What's up, Cousin Sue? How hey, are you, love? Jackie, babe. Good. Crazy. All y'all that are worried about Rose... I know this isn't this isn't normal, but I'm telling you, for Rose, this is normal. She's not. <laughs> it is. Not, <laughs> it is. <laughs> but, man. She'll rant until she gets it out. It might be a week. It might be two days. You ought to see it when she. I was just gonna ask you how long does this shit go on? Does this shit it it last like can. weeks or days or what? It, 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 she she locks in. I wish that she let you talk, talk to you. It went on for, it was sporadic, but sometimes it was a week at a time, but she thinks Mo and Avery Avery are the absolute devil. That's right. Oh, my God. All the talk with Dolly started with Mo and Avery. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes. It's currently weird about YouTube, too. If you think these people are the absolute devil, you do know who hired them, right? <laughs> the same guy that's just like an ass here is kind of like, stupid. Um, at some point in time, you got to look at the the manager, you know, the boss you know, man, whoever's making not... the calls. And uh, it's weird to me that she's never looked at it that way. That she bitches about all the people around Dolly, but never at Dolly. Is you Dave do here? know who's surrounding Dolly with Dave, Dolly. Dave, I'm not mad at you. Dolly. Are you talking about is Three Dot here? Three Dot, uh, I heard what you actually said on this live, and you didn't really shit talk me at all. And actually, I was really proud of you because you brought up Aaron's channel. And you were trying to promote Aaron's channel. And you talked about that project, Rescue the Children, or whatever that project is. And I'd like to talk to you about that. And uh, and then she slammed you down. If you want to hear about important things, she just wants to shit talk me. So anyway, I just wanted to apologize um, for shit talking you when you didn't deserve it. And I don't apologize to everybody because I usually don't make that mistake. People, right? Dolly. <laughs> Is the one that makes his mods. She thinks his mods make him do all the bad stuff. That's not really Dolly. That's his mods making him do it. <laughs> I, I still, yeah, I still, still, I still, still that. That. don't fight with Dolly. I'm not gonna let y'all come here to fight with Dolly. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> when it comes, I say a word to- stop. When it comes to um, me and Dolly, only the mods have caused trouble. There is no problem between me and Dolly, other than it has been caused by everybody else. And his thing with the wells upset me, but. Anyway, when it comes to just the pure Dolly and me, 
There, there was never a problem. It was always other people sh making him feel bad, trying to manipulate him, shitting on me, creating drama. And he does say something completely untrue in here. Are we still in battle on the troll planet Earth? <laughs> oh, there's so many of them. There's more than one. I was not mad when Scapegoat did a reaction bit about me. I loved it. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I want to, I want to, he says something that is not true. This whole thing is full of untruths. <clears throat> I didn't say a word to him. Dolly's the one that did all this shit. Hey, nobody even addressed her. Mm -hmm. I didn't say yes. I wasn't sure it was him. Dolly's mods make him do all the dirty mm -hmm. shit. Yes, they they hold it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, send me one of them big pics. They yeah, that sounds like the mods did that shit, didn't it? They will do anything to make everything Dolly's fault. The truth is, it was the mods. Mo wreaked havoc on the chat. This is where he gets it wrong, this Willow guy. And I'm, I have nothing against Willow. He's actually only been respectful to me, except for, I don't think he, I mean, he's really only been respectful to me. I think he respects my uh, intelligence and my awareness of what the fuck is going on in a lot of different parts of the, our world, which I don't even know the half of it. And, uh, but he, he, he and I agree on a lot of things like, I think, sociopolitically. I think he sees the agendas, whether he's on meth or not. And look, being on meth, is not the crime, but being on meth makes you do crimes. So I feel bad for people on meth. If it if it if it gets them to lose, you know, I, I know what it's like to be addicted to stuff. I've been addicted to a lot of things, not that many things. Well, well cigarettes. Okay, that was the worst. I was addicted to Newport Lights, and then I was addicted to Marlboro Lights. And it took it was a twenty year relationship and a battle to get myself to fully quit without dreaming about it, secretly wanting to smoke. And it was a very, very, very tough thing, but I did do it. And I did, and I did quit at age 36. I threw myself a big fucking Leo party because I'd survived. I, I want to unblock Dave. I actually, I actually don't have Dave blocked. I don't know how Dave is blocked. <sighs> I don't know. All Dave's getting a bunch of subs. Latoya got a bunch of subs from good old Team Rose. You guys are awesome. I, I promote other channels. I don't care. What the hell? You're going to promote me? I want to promote you. It's fine. Yeah, that sounds like the mods did that shit, didn't it? <laughs> they did. Sure thing there, James. And she um, don't make the mistake of saying, he was joking. He said, I sold my soul to the devil. And Rose got that in her head that since Dolly still has success through even, even though all the bad accusation, accusations against him come and his channel isn't taken down, she really believes that he sold his soul to the devil to have YouTube success. Well, well, he's hell. obviously running late on his payments because she's been a little stagnant for him. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, he really. sells a few bucks. The other night was about the best night I've seen him have in a while. Really? Which night was that? I have a clip when she thought Ernie got married. And she was just happy. <laughs> they fit. <laughs> they cut you yeah, off. Ernie's one I never got too deeply into. I tried for a minute just because I saw the same clips everybody else did. A guy, you know, jumping out of a perfectly good vehicle, running down the <laughs> side of the street, you know, talking all Save Me Tom Cruise, you know, some Friday, uh, some uh, Talladega Nights kind of shit. I said, all right, I can get behind this. This looks like something worth watching. <laughs> and I stuck with it for a minute until so many actors came in and other players came around that it just got muddy and got kind of weird. I wasn't sure what part of it was legitimately real anymore, what parts of it was just absolute horseshit. Um, that's a crazy dude right there. I'm telling you, man, the internet lures this shit in. So I don't mind making fun of people. People are like, oh, you got to watch a man's mental health. Oh, you can't make fun of them mental health. And fuck you, dude. If you manage to get your ass on here, dodge community guidelines, not have any strikes, know how to use StreamYard and OBS, I have a strike. fuck that, you're in play. You're smart enough. You managed to come here, get here, dodge all the landmines, and run your mouth nonstop. Batter up. <laughs> I don't care. That's I don't care question. how crazy you are. Don't That's care. A good question. Um, Rose knows what she's doing. She's always been a little, a little tilted, but I just don't think she has a filter. I don't think she gives a shit. <laughs> I do think that sometimes people can get to the internet and, and not have a full appreciation for the backlash that can come. Now that I think happens. You know that that maybe just sometimes that a Mrs. Portland doesn't truly understand that you could fuck around and end up in jail. Or that well, you know, 
Well, I'm she got to the house and she went to hell. You will see Miss Peel locked down 23. And they threatened to take my uh, channel down. To, to destroy all my work. Well, they have a channel. They want to take my channel down because of Ann Horn's beef with me, which has nothing to do with them. They want to destroy my channel. But taking down another person's channel is extremely bad karma, by the way. Extremely bad. Sweetheart, you have a, you have a, you have a, you have a, you can, you can drop the link, honey. You have a wrench. You can drop the link, sweetheart. You know, it's, it's about links, but it's not, the entire chat is about everybody else's channel. You know what I mean? I, I can see why, in a way, Jimmy says, don't talk about everybody else's channel. I think they take it to an extreme. I like supporting it, but I don't want the chat to be only that. You know what I mean? Because I want to talk about what's at hand. Oh, I know. Yeah, but you did you hear my horrible rant? Oh, God, I went off. I absolutely went off. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, yeah, you know, I think sometimes that happens. That people, you know, think, oh, it's this shit talk. I'll hop on here, run my mouth, and give me some money, give me some yeah, clout, you know, hang out with local polish shit, then be cool. And then you get here and you find yourself in the gutter, uh, fighting amongst the wolves. And next thing you know, the cops are at your door, SWAT's paratrooping down through your fucking chimney, all Santa Claus like and shit with ARs. Hmm. And you go, damn, shit ain't funny anymore. Uh, I get it. Th that can happen. But I think for the most part, if you make it this far, this ain't none of our first down the job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we know what time it is. And, and Rose kind of knows. She's watching enough Jimmy. She knows. Right. I was going to say, Rose is not as stupid as anybody. I mean, just because no. she's having a manic episode does not make her stupid by far. Um, no. Cut and shoot, you're up here, baby. It's me, I promise. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to, I sent you a super chat earlier saying this. Um, I just want to thank you for showing this, uh, Rose Lady. As you know, I don't know many people in this community. Um, and I met her uh, in another chat that we're both modded in and mm -hmm. we actually had a kind of a chat exchange this morning um mm -hmm. where i had to correct her a couple times and um correct me i didn't know if she was like this and i'm i'm, like I'm glad what? you showed it because it I'm it, it makes people it. aware of you aware. know people like me that aren't aware of everybody oh, shut up uh to steer clear oh yeah steer clear Crazy. that that's a good idea that's a good idea and you know what's weird I don't need i've only ever spoke to her one time, time. And one time she went on this whole political thing. And yeah, I thought, you know, all right, let's, all, let's hear it out. And she actually said some relatively insightful shit. Yeah, you and but I then agree. you'll watch her turn around tomorrow and just off the deep end. It's like, wow. Yeah, she, <laughs> so she was starting to talk about the oil and gas industry and how we buy, you know, so much oil, foreign oil. And, well, I happen to know a lot about the oil and gas industry. And I own a drilling rig myself, me and my husband. And I was like, actually... Rose, we only buy five percent of our oil from other countries. <laughs> the rest is comes from our own country. Thank you, thank you for, thank you for setting her straight on that. Like they don't realize how much actually comes. Oh from. God, they really set like, me somebody... straight. It's like a piece of fucking factual information, and this woman is acting like she had to correct me and fix me over a gas and oil fact. That's something to, that we can look up. What percentage of foreign oil? um does america still buy you know let's see uh what percentage of foreign oil does is it is imported to the u.s okay it says this one says canada 61 percent mexico 10 percent Saudi Arabia, 6%, Russia, 3%, and Colombia, 3%. The top five sources of crude, U.S. crude oil imports. Huh? That's a lot. That's, that's 71, 80%. About 35% of U.S. supply comes from international partners, not 5%, lady compared to about 65% produced domestically. Okay, so according to this, her facts are wrong. Okay, so who the fuck does she think she is? According to what I just looked up, that woman needed to be corrected. It's crazy how many followers these hate channels get producing nothing of value, while some of us creators struggle to get subscribers and views. Well, this other woman acted like my channel was stopping her from getting views. I was like, you know, that is the kind of demented thinking that is gets people in trouble. You missed a lot. Huh. 
Hi, Arkansas White Dove. I just got here. Enjoy your day and everything. Haters have to hate. Haters will make you sick. I know. If we don't vent or rant. Yeah, that can make us sick, too. I think so. Sometimes a loud screen cleanses us. Definitely. It's getting windy. You're about to go sail soon. You're going to go sailing? Wow. It's scary. It also shows the world is feeling you on hate. Yeah. No point in fighting Rose. She's mostly she's mostly love, but you can misunderstand her and either ask forgiveness or you can leave or both. <laughs> Sounds like, you know, 35% is, is imported, not 5%. So that woman was wrong according to what I just looked up, but I, I, I'm open to being to not, you know, to, to questioning everything. So yeah, conflict comes progress. That's true. You should get with Dolly and help us true crime to real. Uh, our sails are tall. They have to lift the bridge. Oh, really? You, you have a big sailboat. Wow. God, Casey, you do so many cool things. Like somebody like me whose state survives on the oil and gas industry. Yeah. 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 Yeah, my, my husband's third generation oil field, so we have a lot invested of our lives and money. OG oh, Rough Nation. Yeah. yeah. It's so, OG Rough Nation. So, yeah, our life is it revolves around the oil and gas industry. But yeah, so I had to cut it straight, but I had no idea who I was dealing with, and I'm glad I do. Oh, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm yeah, probably going to clear. Yeah, this is just a little taste of who you're dealing with. This ain't oh. even stuck. Yeah. See, here's here's kind of my thing, though, right? Oh my god. I think it's some of kind of bullshit. Like, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I I think that this is a lot of it is her just fucking being a nasty. You know, I think think some of it's watchdog shit, though. I think mean? a lot of it's watchdog shit. What's I think what? she sits over there in that chat and in private messenger groups and, and listens to the shit that gets viewed back I'm and forth between lines and other you know, players and, and Dolly's little shit. In other words, Dolly's done went through too many channels. I think she is kind of his burner channel. No, I'm not. Uh, like instead of us having a backup channel, I think she is the backup channel. No, I think a lot of look, the shit. Willow, she I have been on YouTube since 2012. Okay, I do my thing. Okay, I am not anybody's backup fucking channel. Okay, you have a lot wrong with all due respect. Um, I'm not mad at you, but you are telling falsities that I would like to clear up. Okay, I am not his backup channel. The fact that you even think that is is weird. I haven't even been on a show when those mean girls, those three loudmouths. Now, Mo and Avery are sociopaths and they hire hitman and men. And to me, Jimmy making that poster made me re- know that it was true. That's how I interpreted it. And if it was just teasing me, that still was pretty cruel. But I didn't take it that way. I felt like Jimmy was warning me. That's how I felt about it. But that's the way the language read to me between Jimmy and I. That Mo could not stand. She could not stand it. That Jimmy liked anybody else but her. He, or I get. I don't really know what her problem is. She's always talking about my movie, which actually won two Academy Awards or three or something. It's, it's your brother-in-law's boat. Just getting high enough with a little help from my friends. Wow, that sounds nice. That sounds nice. Totally. I get seasick. I like kayaking. I don't really like sailing that much. I come from a sailor, so that always felt bad. It's choppy. So you're out on your boat now? Oh. Huh. All right, let's finish this up because I got to go. A lot of the shit you may hear in her mouth sometimes is secondhand. And that way it can be said over here and don't fall on him. I mean, he's in the chat championing the shit out of it. Yeah, but I mean, I mean what are you trying to right now cussing everybody out that left? Every everybody that left him, Mel and all them, and of course PJ is gonna back that up because she's jealous uh-huh. as fuck. Well, and the fact that she's being so ugly to that Ann person with cancer, my father fought bladder, kidney, lung, and brain cancer. I took care of him for three years until he finally succumbed to it. Well, I took care of my um, mother for two and a half it, years. It, so. And people like me. Mm. You know, it, it, it's disgusting. I mean, you know, that you know was what? I went through then. the same fucking thing, lady. So take your self-righteousness and shove it. Okay, that's my response. I'm actually saying it out loud because I'm 60 years old and I don't give a flying fuck. I love kayaking too. Ooh, let's go. God, 
These women who come up there. Yeah, I was in a movie. It was called In the Bedroom. It was filmed in Maine. I auditioned. I got a small role. I had a name. My name was Janelle. I played, I had the screen all to myself for a, a second here and there. Um, he hired me right away. He liked me right away. I, it was great. I, I loved it. I wish it was longer. It was one of the highlights of my life. It was very brief. It was very amazing. I love being in the movies. I would do it. You know, I was very devoted to my children and raising my children. So I did go to Hollywood with my family because my, my husband was an actor too. At the time we were both in theater. The kid, every, all of us were in theater. All, all five of us were a family of theater people. So I married a theater dude and we produced theater constantly. My kids were in theater. I was in theater. We were in plays together. We were in, um, th um, uh, what the fuck is that? Christmas Carol, Christmas Carol. Yeah. I have my one movie and it, and it wasn't a B rated movie, bitch, Matt Mo. It was an Oscar winner. It won two or three Academy Awards on like, I don't know screenplay or something like that. Casey's going live. If it's today, I won't, I won't make it. Um, I hope you go live when I can make it. All right, let's get this. So he, he thinks that I'm all up Dolly's ass. He doesn't understand. Dolly works for me. I am his superior. I mean, you know, that was my daddy and Okay, we it all have a, a daddy. Thing for anybody to have to go through. Oh, poor I baby. Okay, so everything's about you and your daddy. Well, my daddy died of cancer too. Do I sound bitchy and mean? Well, that's what happens when you get sick and tired of people using nothing to bitch at you for. My father died of pancreatic cancer and it was very painful and horrible too. You're not the only one. Don't get me yelling. Uh, well, she knows damn well, you know, that affects not just, I mean, even people that don't like Anne, don't even know Anne, are affected by that because they have family or loved ones that have passed away or they have watched, you know, deal best with the know. treatment and all that. Did it yeah, I don't movie? know, Ann. I don't have any idea half the time who you guys are talking about. I just sit over here for the laughs. You're going to get more laughs on my channel. And I'm learning yeah, a lot. Because to be honest with you, you can, you can, you can insert <laughs> almost any character Thank and it's you, about Julie. the same. All these pimps and players are, are kind of... You're right. You're you right. really can insert any of them and make fun of them. It's, the it's young one, we have our own drama going on. And not as intense oh, as every thing, but... <laughs> Everybody does. I remember the first time I got to the drama community, as they call it over here, and I go, y'all know this shit ain't exclusive, right? Like, <laughs> there's other drama everywhere. I mean, from what I understand, like, the knitting circle is brutal. I can speak on behalf of the beauty community. People Have will fun, kill girl. you over a pallet. I don't even know what a pallet was. Oh, my God. That I'm oh, jealous. Okay, this I'm jealous of. Uh, oh. Wind in my hair. Oh. 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 They are absolutely you, brutal over there. I'm just over here I mean, trying to like keep my head down and you know maintain, I guess. Yeah, you know, so uh, what even brought her on the Anne thing? See, I missed what started that. Like, why is she locking on Anne? What what, what Anne do to her, or what does she think Anne did to her? They don't even she know. Don't See, like that's the thing. She, she, just she, just she just don't like her, and Anne left Dolly. That's, that's all. Anne I'm not Dolly mad at her for leaving Dolly. I'm mad at her for shit talking me. Yep, because those three women—they ruined Dolly's channel. Those three women. Right. Oh, okay. That's right. Oh, I'm yeah. glad they're gone. <laughs> they ruined her channel. Remember when she was on that kick and she was like, "Mm-hmm." How hardcore on Mo and Avery? I mean, them like them like. He was on the run. That's right. She was literally hiding out. Yes, I was. She was like traveling nonstop, Still going to different it. Airbnbs and staying in random places. Mm -hmm. Which is these weird little live remotes and shit. Yep. yep. It was almost like the Blair Witch Project, that one scene, the, hey, the band trailer scene. That... Good morning, babe. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> We're scared. Right. We're like, God, oh, why are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> is she running from Benny Keys? Holy yeah. shit. Because you're cool. Well, I'm going to hop mean, down. Don't get me wrong. Darling. Sorry Thanks for having me up here. Darling. But the worst thing you could do is tell Rose to stop. I mean, that's not going to tell her stop. That's just going to, that's, when the mods would time her out and like in Dolly Vision and Ernie, that, that would make her like infuriated. So the worst thing to do is tell her to stop because that's just going to make her keep going. Mm -hmm. Casey She hates rocks to be it. silenced. She hates to be silenced. That's what she just said. That's right, Constance. Clearly. <laughs> And do you like to be yeah. silenced, Queen? So the best you could do is, like, if, if anybody's worried for her, just let her, she just got to go through it. That's just, That's it. I mean, I oh, hope honey. nobody does call Belfort, checking all that in on her, because she's not, 
you know, what might not be normal for you or anybody else. I'm telling you, that's just, that's just how she is. And she's just going to have to rant it all out. That's right. Yeah. Oh, well, and I don't encourage you, anybody to be calm while checks or none of Because she really is just, you know, that's just Rose. Hey, Sierra. And really, if everybody would stop going over there and telling her to stop and just let her chill, you know, she would, you know, at least calm down from a 20 to a 18. Yeah, I I hope nobody from over here is going over there fucking with her because, I mean, y'all need to leave her the fuck alone. Let her be. Now it's okay to leave her alone. In fairness, I didn't even address her not one time either. Didn't say one word to her. Didn't, didn't even make no jokes to her. Which, I was by the way, was rude. With, I mean, literally, I came in there. And just yeah, you came up. in there to use my channel to shit on Dolly. And Dolly went right for it and started attacking you right away. And um, it's actually rude, Willow, to not say hi to the host. And I only found that out when I started doing lives. And I get it. I used to do the same thing. I'd go into a chat that was buzzing along. But look how Constant Sue got them... got. Queen B to call it off the people coming over and shitting on me because Queen B was telling people to go over there and harass me and she was laughing at it. You say, yeah, they're very low IQ. That that's why I yeah I agree. How's that? How's that? Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say. This reminds me of the Mississippi Swamp creature. <laughs> they can't rain for longer than the minute. They run out of words and just just start saying just 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 just, just like that. Just 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 just. Rose, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. So I want to finish this. Um, let's see. It's almost done. Wait, I mean, literally, I came in there and just tagged Jones and cussed all Jones. That's the way I don't want to be embarrassed. That's the only person I saw. Again. So, all right, I'll go. And it does just go to show, too. That's this is always guy. something kind of. Jones is talking to the chat. You guys weren't fucking with her, but I mean, there was people in there. Oh, yeah. Stop and that she needs to calm down and get off of here and all that. Just let her rant off. That's her channel. If she wants to rant off, whatever. She's this vile, nasty shit. It now is. she's taking your advice, Constance Sue, letting me rant off. Oh, it's not vile and nasty. And what do you say? Are your words vile and nasty, Queen Bee? Do you really think that your words are sweetie and loving? Because that is not what I've heard from you, and I don't even know you. This is my first experience with you. These people are bitter, but we all know that misery loves company. Glad you're not letting them travel. Well, they, 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 they yeah. Huh. They're miserable nonsense. You're bright, Laywood, who's fun, genuine, intelligent, and kind. Thanks. Thank you, sweetie. I love my intelligent people. So Constance Sue really stops it. Thank you, Constance. I mean, I have to have what it is. We heard it firsthand, and that's it. That's all. I mean, that's not shit I want to fucking listen to or keep on keeping on with. I mean, it is what it is. And We've seen so, it. We heard so it. That's it. That's all. That's pretty much all we need to know, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Something else that, that you can kind of notice if you go back and watch it as it progresses, too. Wow. That's At least to me, kind of a metric that she knows what she's doing. Is you can watch the numbers climb. As the numbers started climbing, she started being more animated. Okay, yeah, that is up. not true. I'm animated whether I have 10 people in the chat or 122 people like I have right now. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm going to be the same, okay? And I'm not doing this and working. He said he, he accuses me of working the audience. No. Huh. Everything QB puts out is nasty and vile, so it's none of your business. I mean, I'm, I'm not getting peace, love, and flowers over there, um, it, you know, at all. She thinks that I'm nasty, but she's not. I mean, see, that I don't like hypocrites. Oh my God, we enjoy you, Rosie. People are acting like they know you hypoc- They know you hypocrites. What the fuck? I know, exactly. Let's finish it. Started climbing. She started being more animated. Yeah, a little more it's ramped up. I mean, that tells you right there that she's playing to the crowd, man. She ain't stupid. Right. Um, well, you're right about that. She was like an extra in a movie, but she does community ta- um, community plays, you know, it's like a community theater. So that's where she does the voices and things like that. That's not like different personalities. That's just... Oh. Boring. I was wondering about the dance. Thank you for that's where a lot of people thought she had the, you know, the different personalities. So yeah. like the DID, you know, some people thought she had like DID or whatever. Yeah, no. I'm yeah, I didn't know that she was in a lot of like theater and dancing and like kind of musical type things. And I'd noticed that too. She'll do like whole dance videos sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd wondered about that. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, there was well, a time I found her somewhat entertaining on Dolly's show. She could pop up because you never knew what was going to happen. What she's doing is not okay, and I don't think it's all right, and I don't fucking 
You fuck know what I'm saying? Support that shit at all. I don't what about what you do? What about what you funny. do? I don't think it's fucking cute. None of that shit. Are you cute? Are you cute? I'm just here to tell people don't don't stress about her being, you know, like gonna harm herself or have a you know breakdown. Because that's just too, that's just how she is. She's she's she, ran, she was that like, way a year ago. Uh, you, she's like another Mrs. P. Yes. Oh, are you they the only one allowed to rant, Queen B? And other people aren't allowed to say, that's fucking horrible, fucking this, fucking that. Is, is that just for you? Is that in your mind? Is that your narcissistic view? Is that only you get to talk tough and talk shit and say fuck every fucking five seconds? There's a theory, says Jackie, on how your of how your imagination gets caught up with social media. Uh, and your first reaction is the worst scenario. It's a troll and a narcissistic way of feeding you with fear. Hmm. Did you hear? Oh. Litka! When did you ever claim stupid? Why do they keep saying shit stupid? I know! Uh, Been following you since I found Dolly. Oh, wow, that's nice. A little over a year and a half. Wow, what was your name before? Jackie, I reached 101 subs. Yay! Great, honey. I reached 2,000 subs. Team Rose is an, an intelligent and beautiful soul. Thank you, honey. This just proves what they do to the people they criticize. It's completely fabricated. Yes, it, it is. Oh, my God. These people are full of such hatred. LOL. Amazing job on her voice impression. Nailed it. Thank you. I guess. I don't want to know. I don't know if I want to sound like a meth head. I guess I could play one in a pl play. One in a play. I like that Constant Sue understands that I'm in theater and that I'm in, an actress and that I was in a movie. I have also produced plays and uh, directed plays. And I've done choreography for plays. Local theater, you know, small town stuff, but it's all big, a big deal around here. You know, the young men find the barefoot dancing offensive my side too. What do you mean? The young men find barefoot dancing offensive. That's fucked up. I get that a lot. They don't like it when I dance. I only dance for dollar and rose. Ah, dollar, you and me, we're getting the dances. I know, but Constance Sue's got me down better than anybody so far of that, of that group. Of, the, of those people, because she's not an idiot. Adult women usually know a lot of shit. Maybe not quite as far out yeah. there, but yes, in the same, yeah. She's aware of what's going on, 100%. Right, 100. So, 100. She knows what's up. She knows what's up. Uh -huh. yeah, she know. damn sure does now. Do you? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, bro, you know, you know the bad behavior. He, like with paper cut teen and all them, it's like, like when he told her that, you know, Benny had a hit on her or however that got started. He, he was just like, just poking at her, you know, just like, hey, Rose, you better be, uh, you better calm down. Benny Watch your butt cheeks. Put a hit out on you. And that put it in her mind that, oh, my God, Benny, does Benny have a hit on me? And then a hit man, Benny didn't help any that that was his name. Well, yeah, he played into it and shit, which yeah. is, I mean, him, you know, trolling, being funny and stuff, which, I mean, I would be funny with, you know, I'd play into it too. I mean, shit, that's to a point, you're like, damn, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You can't fucking believe this. You know? No, I don't know. Can't be serious, but yeah, I get it. I don't know. Oh, she now just... you get it? Okay, now you get it. Hell, actually, when, when I first started really hanging out over Dolly's, mm -hmm. there was a time that you couldn't mention her name. Like, they, like, he literally would get old people, like, didn't even want her name spoken over here. Don't say it. Oh, don't cool, mention Tenzie. it. We're done with that one. Let it go. Oh, that's and awesome. And with literally, like, she was done from the conversation. You could not say that word over This there. is not, I was done for the conversation, Willow, not because Dolly was sick of me. He was trying to put an end to Mo harassing me and bashing me in the chat. That is what that really was. But he gets it wrong. Dolly, at the end of the show, his show back then, would sometimes end the show saying you watch your butt cheeks team rose he's the reason i was afraid because he was letting me know he knows avery was plotting her shit thank you tenzi that's cool so tenzi was in was in she was an extra on fear of the walking dead season eight very cool how was it you watch your butt cheeks team rose literally at the end of the show how he would end the show I always felt like he was warning me. You watch your butt cheeks, Team Rose. Saying shit like that's gonna get you killed, Team Rose. So what do you say to me? That's cool, honey. I love when you dance, aw. Oh, that's wonderful, gut honey. Thank you. Let's finish this. Hi, Freeside. 
Hi, Warrior Nun. If I didn't say hi, I guess I, I space sometimes. I don't catch everything. All right, here, go. Um, no, no Rose, no Team Rose. Don't say any of that shit. Uh, he was that fed up. No, <laughs> he, he was fed up with Mo. Whole, you know, BK, Hitman, you know, Ro, uh, Mo and uh, Avery Yeah, because shit. one time he um, came into the chat like, well, well, where's all the Rose bashing? He wanted to start bashing me. And Mo, Mo wrote back, and this was months and months and months when Jimmy finally got her to stop. And he, she said, oh, we're not allowed to talk about Rose anymore. It's a sensitive subject. Because Jimmy did not want me bashed on his channel anymore. And you were doing it, Mo, the entire fucking time. You never stopped fucking doing it, and you're still doing it. You're lying about me behind my back on other people's channels, and you don't even give out the right information. You lying piece of shit. Lie, 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 Mo. What do you, what do you hope to gain? You're a grandmother, for fuck's wow. sake. You think lying yeah, about me is good? Henry popped in the chat today um, while this is going it's on. It's bullshit. I am. You know what I'm pissed about, guys? I'm pissed that Mo is still lying about me. That she still shit talks me behind my back. You like both me and Dolly? That's nice. While this is going on. Imagine oh, that. Oh, my dear Lord, please don't. Oh, my yeah. God. That would be, now, that really, truly might send her into a tailspin. Now, I'm not even kidding, because she's that serious about Mo and Avery for some reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's Yeah, she is. Uh, Mm -hmm. She never did let go of that. Why would I let go of that? Oh, yeah, I knew Mo was. Yeah, Avery popped in, too. And I thought yeah, you Mo, 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 Mo like, comes up on this panel and lies about me. That's why I'm pissed. And he is also getting it wrong. Jimmy never said, don't talk about Team Rose on his channel. He said, don't bash her. And Mo couldn't fucking not bash me if she mentioned my name at all. And that's why he said... Watch season eight, last season, I'm that walker. Okay, cool. Do you have a channel? <sighs> Fuck, Mo, don't waste your awesomeness. Thank you. Are you nice to Team Rose? <laughs> See, that was Avery's most tell. incredible thing that she had. That was it. That was her most credible thing that she had was she was the first one to come out, make all these claims about Dolly before anybody else ever did. And then about every six months, another band would follow suit. Every bit of that credibility now is gone. I mean, I think you really, really fucked yourself on that one. And then to just pop in magically when, when the Rose Dolly thing comes up today. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's a bad look. <laughs> At this point, I, I, I don't know. And that's still from Dolly, too, mm -hmm. because Dolly said, you know, and he's, when he said that in a joking way, man, I'm scared of Avery, man. I'd mm -hmm. be scared of Avery. She, You know, mm -hmm. that made Rose be scared of Avery. Mm -hmm. So if she thinks a car parked outside of her front of her house, she'll think it's Avery. Mm -hmm. If you know, <laughs> she gets, Avery, if she gets a prank call, it's Avery. Yeah. He's not nice. <laughs> I personally want to thank you for being the team Rose Whisperer and being able to come up here and let us know. Um, mm -hmm. I had no, like, I knew this one was batshit crazy, but like, no, I didn't feel like she was batshit crazy cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So. Oh, shut anyway. the fuck up. What the fuck is this? Thank you for taking oh, one for the team and being able to explain to us. Oh, shut that... up. Huh? Why is this bitch a switch only $7? And still no one wants it. Wait a minute. I know what. Everyone's done. The four-year-old along the fence line at least take off the little girl's home around 9 p.m. Investigators unearthed the truth. Three years later, the accused new updates at this point no searches uh team on fire today you keep missing jimmy's lives why does my name have to keep coming up out of her mouth well god damn let's make everything about team and horn why don't you leave me alone confirmed future of the rose wow well i i i can't find the job <laughs> i just lost it damn it where is it well, hi, Kathy. Where's the rest of it? Oh, my God. Are you able to put that back in there, Dollar? I just lost it. Um, and I can't get it back because my stupid phone doesn't give me my history. It's so weird. It just... I just don't understand why... Uh, hold on. No. Uh, wait, search. Damn. 
Dang it. I just want to finish it. All these women are so arrogant. Yeah, that was strange about that old lady. I think she was a reptilian. Um, yeah, hit the like even if you're in the bushes. But one night there was a car outside when Rose was on the run in the snow. Rose opened the door for this old lady. Her name was also Rose. It was weird. Yeah, it was weird. And um, I felt bad not letting her in. But I had a feeling she was going to kill me. Because her story didn't add up. Um, there it is. Okay, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, good. Now back to the fucking thing. Okay, good. Oops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I personally want to thank you thank for you. being the Team Rose Whisperer and being able to come up here and let us know. Um, I had no, like, I knew this one was batshit crazy, but, like, I didn't realize she was batshit crazy cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's not what so, Constance thinks. Anyway. So, get off, get off. Thank you for taking oh, one for the team that. and being able to explain to us that, nope, this Does is just Constance who she is. have a heart? And like I said, on a positive note, She's in her 60s, and she has amazing skin. Her mm -hmm. face, I mean, she does have amazing skin. She's, don't want to talk she about really, She's in like one of those super active very oh, kind of. My last fucking mouth, I don't know how. She just purges all the shit, all the toxins she just purges from her face. Shit, she fucking spews out of that motherfucker. Do I fucking spew like you? Yeah, fucking spew. Spew. <laughs> Good yeah. God. Does anybody ever call you a hypocrite? Um, but yeah, she seems like one of those very kind of dance, artsy, active, you know, health conscious, organic eating type of, yeah, she seems like it always did. And fart. So maybe there is some, maybe there is a, a slight catch to not eat McDonald's three days a That's week. That's right, buddy. She probably blew up on that shit. Uh-huh. Uh, so she went into herbs and medicine and healing and like, mm -hmm. she drinks like vinegar every day that... Apple cider you know, vinegar. Oh. Like that every That's day. Right. That's right. Oh my god. That is mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the bags I mean, apple cider vinegar. I drink that every day too. I do yeah. that in fire cider. Uh, oh, that makes I you okay. No way. The constant oh, yeah, water burst. You're probably how to cure it. on you like four and a half hours, and I'm fucking. Right. I'm exhausted. I'm ready to. Yeah, I'm ready to. Hop, I'm ready to hop off. Take that off. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking exhausted. I'm just trying to say something I'm positive. I'm so serious. Go do your thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, oh, you're good, baby. Go do your thing, man. Yes, it's Saturday. All right, so Wisconsin, I'm, you'll I'm, be good. I'm going to go, uh, you know, get some shit done, throw some stuff on the grill, fuck around for a little while. My pop around, up here later, around, you know what I mean? Around. My pop back on later tonight or something, if y'all, you know, if y'all are around or whatever. We'll see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. Cool, sweetheart. I'll see you there, baby. All right, baby. We'll see you later. All right, baby. All right, Just baby. Y'all be good. I don't even know if you I want to. You too, baby. We'll talk to you later. Bye, no, y'all. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Yep. Thrown in the towel. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. My cricket came. Uh, I got to get my uh, my press and we'll be in business. I'm excited. I got to get. All right. That's all I can take. <sighs> She's just wonderful. Oh, God. What's this? Oh, what's this? Uh, hold on a second here. What's this? Candace Bly has been talking to the farm lady. Thunder Sky Studio. Huh. Shit. I gotta go. <laughs> I know. I mean, I don't like hypocrites. I really am just like, no. No. I'm calling you out. You want to be a hypocrite? I'm going to point it out to your face. You don't want to accept it? Then you're stupid. And I'm not saying I've never been a hypocrite. But as soon as I recognize it, I adapt. Yeah, I've, I've got it right in here. See, I'm drinking this uh, watered down uh, orange juice, cranberry juice, pinch of baking soda, 
distilled water, uh, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar. And I put it in this orange juice thing and I've been, I've been drinking it and I am dehydrated and I got to get going. I feel like I need to take another shower to fix my hair. I cannot believe how horrible I look. I look, my face is so swollen. I look like I, I, I gained, you know, 20 pounds in my face. I'm very upset about this guys. I am worried about it. I mean, it's very fucked up. It is really fucked up. I got to take a shower. I feel embarrassed. I feel embarrassed about uh, my, my looks and my health. You guys, you can talk for a little while if you want, uh, but I got to get going now. I have to go take a shower. Do you want, you can, do you want to talk for a little bit until I, um, let's see. For 60 years, brain scientists have worked to protect people around the world. With trusted I should probably just get going. Uh, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. You're awesome. Thank you, Constance. So I appreciate you saying something nice about me. That was that was that was big of you. That was it was good. It's nice of you. I appreciated that. I really did. It touched me. I was like, I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know you were up. There. I didn't know. You know, I don't. You know, obviously you're part of that show. You're gonna watch Days of Our Lives. Oh, thanks for an amazing live. Love you guys. Love you. Love you, Rose. Thank you, sweetheart. Thanks for clearing up because I thought that was positive. That was you. Uh, I see a dentist in your future. I hope. Thanks, spiritual eyes. Love you, babe. Thank you, hon. Love you too, honey. I hope you get that, um, that, uh, what do you call that thing? A, uh, menage a trois? Soon, baby, soon. All right, love you guys. You're awesome. I love that you have a sense of humor. Everyone has moments. No one's perfect, but the ones that try to act as though they are and Constance points fingers, constantly point fingers, that burns my ass cheeks. I know. Ah, oh, you're the best, guys. You want a little music? I'll just play a little music. Um, I'll just play a little music as we wind down. And uh... yeah, I know what you mean. I gotta take a shower. I tried to ask me if you help me. I know exactly. Thank you. I feel terrible today. I look horrible, and I gotta go deal with it. Love you guys. 